Hi, Mac. Yo. Hello. Play the DLC very happy? No spoilers! Spoilers equals 10 year banishment. Hi, Vengeance. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? You can finally stay for a whole stream? Damn. Your favorite track was added in this wave? Okay! Wasn't your previous famous, like, uh, Peach's Garden? Man, Vengeance is eating good. How's your memory so good? I don't know, I have selective memory. I think it's because like, I edited a clip of me reacting to the Peach Gardens and you were like shitting on my opinion, Loki. <laughs> I was like, ah, it's mid and you were like, what? <laughs> edited that clip like a month ago, so. <laughs> I thought Peach's Gordon was Loki boring, uh oh. Why are we starting drama in the chat? We're just starting, guys. Come on. But hi, Cole Bobo. Better sub, you're gonna say my other favorite track is boring? Oh no. <laughs> Parentheses, I'm not betting I'm broke. Why are you lying in the chat? That is genuinely so mean. <laughs> I'm gonna wait 10 more seconds. <laughs> Unless. Sorry, I got a good handful of comments on TikTok, so I'm, I'm replying. Alright, uh, guys, new tweet, new tweet, go like it. That way everybody knows I'm live. <laughs> <sighs> My ring light is so bright, I need to turn it down. But you know what? It's fine. Yo, hello, good morning, good afternoon. Wait, let me... Oh, that's the wrong... Now it's a bit softer, okay. But good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well today. Um, the DLC came out yesterday, but you know, I was busy doing big girl boss business deals, so we're doing it today. No worries, I, I saw one spoiler right before stream today, because I was posting a clip on TikTok, and you know how when you upload a video, it defaults to like your homepage or your following page? So, I saw one new character that I wasn't aware was in the game. I'm not gonna say what I saw, but I'm already thinking about jokes I can do for it. So you know what? It's whatever. But otherwise, the only spoilers I've seen were, um, cause you know how when you open or when you turn on your Switch, it shows like the recommended news? I did see the little wizard guy and the piranha plant thing. 
So I assume we'll see that today. But I don't get why they put those in the stupid store thumbnail. That was dumb. L Nintendo. That <laughs> made it sound <laughs> irony. Can we get some yo's? So that's the only thing I've seen. I also... Thank you for the resub, holy moly, 13 months? Ain't no way, thank you, Rainy. Can we get some weighties in chat? Thank you, hon. 13 months, I think you're like one of my top six subs. Gasp. But thank you, Rainy. What? Oh, it's Prime? Guys, can we get some Prime subs today? I'm never going away, fuck! <laughs> Nah, you're fine, you're fine. Unless... Nah. Okay, so we're gonna react to the DLC today. Blind reaction minus the... Another tier one? Haha, <laughs> it's not reading your TTS, haha. <laughs> but thank you, Kim. Six months? Wait, new badge? New badge, new badge. Thank you, Kim, for the six months. Can we get some wimps in chat? Thank you, hon. Damn, you've been here for six months? It feels like forever, and in a bad way. I haven't gone live in a day, I'm kind of giggly. I'm in a really good mood today. Yesterday was very bad. You know why yesterday was very bad? Um, I went for my walk, and you sh there's this one house that has this giant grass field, and he has a bunch of bunnies in it. And it's cute. Wait, j guys, hold. Hold. If we get one more prime sub, regular sub, or a bit cheer right now, we'll get a hype train. Did we get a hype train today? Anyway, so I was on my walk, and I was looking at the little bunnies in the field, and the field is right by a five-lane busy road, right? So, fucking dumbass bunny, it runs into the road. And thankfully, like, a few of the cars stop. Because I'm, I'm, like, maybe, like, um, maybe, like, 20 feet away from it. So I'm like, oh! I was, I was debating if I wanted to, like, run into the street and stop. But I was like, no, if I go into the street, the car will hit me. And obviously, not worth. Not feeling that today. <laughs> so... I was like, I was like, I stood in shock. I was like, please don't hit the rabbit. Please don't hit it. Because it's like this little bunny. And thankfully, one car stopped. But then, so like, let's say this car is here. The car that was behind it drove in front of it and almost hit the rabbit. Oh my god. I was so frazzled. But thankfully, the rabbit ran back. So I was like, okay, saved. He's not that stupid. And I was walk as I was walking home back from my walk, I saw the same dumbass rabbit walk back into the road. And I'm like, oh my god. But it made it all the way across the street. But I had like too many heart attacks yesterday. So that was not a good way to start my morning. Because I go on morning walks that way I can decompress, I can look at the sun rays and the little flowers and feel good. But the rabbit ruined my day yesterday. Anyway, we're reacting to the DLC. <laughs> My ring light is so bright. Also, I changed the color correction on my camera. It's a bit less saturated, so I look less red on camera, but look at this. It's, it's honky. I have a clown nose. It's so bad. It won't go away. <clears throat> okay, anything else? Oh, updates, guys. Peep the pinned message in chat. Peep the pinned message. I will be on at MABeeb's podcast this Sunday at 5 p.m. PST. Everybody click the pin messenger chat. Go follow her Twitch channel because I might put it into follower 10 minute mode. So go follow her channel. That way you can type in chat and participate in our conversation. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, this is Emmy's Twitter. This is our Twitter. It is at MABeeb on Twitter. No underscore. And then also, big also, I'm going to be uploading to my main YouTube channel more often, finally. So new stream highlight will be uploaded tomorrow on Friday. So everybody go subscribe to my YouTube channels. <clears throat> Sub to the main channel, which is youtube.com slash at peace 17. And then the clips channel, which is youtube.com slash at peace 17 clips. Um, for the podcast, it'll be exclusively on, on Emmy's channel. So that's why you gotta make sure you're following her Twitch. That way you can watch and type in the chat during her stream. Um, because since her podcast is her thing, it's not... I'm not like a co-host. I'm just a guest. At this point, I need to like weasel my way in. That way I can like part of the ad revenue, you know? 
That's why you all gotta watch, you all gotta tap and chat the whole stream. It's only like an hour, so you guys can stay up a little bit late, right? Okay. Ten minutes left on that potential hype train, Oilers. What else? What else? I think that is all. I've stalled for long enough. Everybody, let's get a look at the new Wave 5 DLC. Wait, there was one more thing! Okay. One more thing. Hold. I've been thinking about how to do this bit for a while. Okay. I have so many people on YouTube especially being like, ooh, she's so bad at the game, skull emoji. Running into every single mall, crying, laughing emoji. You guys want to see why? I did not realize this is the Joy-Con that came with the Switch. Granted, this is my sister's Switch. She got it back in, like, high school, so years ago at this point. Over six years ago. So this is the one that came with the console. Now, look how bad it is. Look, I'm not doing anything. Look how bad the drift is. I knew Jif Driftcon, or I knew Joy-Con drift was a thing, but I didn't realize it was this bad. I don't know what happened. I mean, when I hold my controller, I grip it really hard. Okay, it's. Oh wait, look, I'm not even doing anything. It's so bad, and I don't know how long it was like this because when we were playing Cozy Grave, I was like, why is my character just walking randomly? So what if my? Oh wait. Anyway. <laughs> so it's so bad so i bought a new joy con i'm not gonna use it for stream because i don't want to bust it um so i'm only gonna play handheld with my new joy con i do have a pro controller it's just i like how the joy con buttons are a bit smaller but i think for stream i'm just gonna use my pro controller from now on but yeah so everybody i am not bad at the game it was just my stupid little controller now for comparison this is the the um pro controller Look how clean! It's so good! I swear, my lines have been worse once I started using the Joy-Cons for a stream. So, you know what? It's it's whatever. It's it's whatever. Now, I'm gonna be so correct. How did you play like that? I, I just didn't know! I just, I was clueless. I didn't know. And let's play some Mario Kart. So this is going in the trash. Oh, I wanted to I wanted to throw it on the ground, but then I thought in my head what I could sell it. Because I bought only a single left Joy-Con controller because it was either spend $50 on one or $80 for two. And I didn't have $80, so I was like, I'll just buy the left one. But it's new, I didn't buy a used one. Yeah, the Joy-Cons are expensive, but I, I've been playing handheld a lot more, so it's not like I could just buy another Pro Controller. <clears throat> okay, blind reaction. I've only seen a little bit of spoilers, hopefully. Nothing crazy. Oh, I'm gonna start with 150cc just to try them out. Oh, really? The read? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is this lineup? Okay, so we have PD Piranha, Wiggler, he can't even fit on the stupid bike, and then a comic. Now, this morning I did get spoiled about Wiggler, but you know what? You know what? I feel like I kind of knew already, I had a sign, there was a sign. Wait, I have a bit, I have a bit, hold. I had a sign that Wiggler was gonna show up because you know what I saw on my walk the other day? You know what I saw on my walk the other day? I saw a real life Wiggler on the sidewalk. I saw a little centipede caterpillar thing. This was the world telling me that Wiggler was gonna be the new character. Yeah, but the bug was cute. <laughs> That's why I took a picture. Also, when I was watching TikTok this morning, I saw somebody play as Wiggler, and I was like, fuck! I was like, I, I was like, god damn it! But then also, like, which is your guys' this, this looks ridiculous! <laughs> also, these characters are so big, they probably 
take up the whole screen when you play the game. <laughs> Only two slots left, Pauline. If they give us Pauline, I will delete my channel. Quote me. Wiggler has a cool feature. I think I assume Wiggler and then Piranha are gonna be heavy set, so I'm gonna start with Comic. Just to try it out. <laughs> Bet? Oh no. Okay. Who? <laughs> okay. I've yet to see any of the tracks. I'm not gonna look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. Dude, there's only one more wave left after this one, right? Oh my god. I, I can't. I can't. Athens Dash from the Feather Cup. This has gotta be from the Margar Tour, right? Damn, they spoiling us gold statues? Holy... Just looking at Comic's cloak, I don't like how it covers the whole model. It looks kind of boring. Instant skip? Oh, he has a little wand. That's kind of cute. That was not... That was the controller. Well, that's an interesting terrain with the... arena. My guess is that this is in... Greece. Oh, this one does change every lap. Okay. Oh, that is sick. Coming down from the top of the arena? That's some Las Vegas shit. The music is fun, too. I do feel like the environment is kind of boring because it's a lot of browns, a lot of tans. Oh, this is a skinny path. Okay. Oh, this is fun on the rooftops. I was gonna say it's like Coco, but that's the wrong movie. Well, what's the one where the guy turns into like a mermaid thing? Milo? No. Oh, I, I thought that was- I deadass thought that was a coin. I'm literally so DOL- oh my god. See, the end part is kind of fun. A lot of tricking. I think the actual, like, terrain of this track is really fun. Like, different elevations, a lot of different, like, you're on the buildings, you're in the arena. But just the color scheme is, is horrible. It's like, if it was more colorful, I would have liked it more, but... I think this one is fun to play, but visually, kind of, what? Los what, like, oh, like, Las Vegas. Like, you know how they have, like, the acrobat shows in Las Vegas? I mean, I think you're from the UK, so... Uh, you you can just pretend that you've been to Las Vegas. Luca, that's what it is. Thank you. Ooh. Daisy Cruiser. Oh my god, is it a little cruise ship? Uh, okay, I don't- I never played this track, but... Imagine how sick it would be to actually, like, ride ATVs on a cruise, though. Oh, we're in the water, okay. Oh, it's very hard to see ahead. Because since there's very minimal elevation changes... Okay, that is funny how the tables are sliding. I went on a cruise when I was in 4th grade, so I would have been, like, 11 or 12. And the ship 
didn't feel like it was moving. It was surprisingly really chill. Um, I did not buy the trip. My grandma bought it. You know, she invested early. Okay, so this one is a non-changing loop. I like that. Also, the music is fun. Just love how everybody is unfazed as the tables are sliding. How are they not scared that the Titanic is gonna happen? I also like that section with the orange pads and then the blue carpet. Very... Honestly, crazy color scheme. If you were the interior designer, I would fire you, but for like a racing jack, kind of fun. Okay, Baby Bowser actually do I'm throwing the red shell behind them. Yeah, I think that first right path is a bit more fun. It's probably it's not quicker though. I'd love it if the track started sinking lap three and it activated anti-gravity. They should get you. Wait, there's an underwater section? I didn't, I just fell off. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna have to practice that a bit more. Anyway, I was saying they should have you on the um, design team. Okay, that last part where I fell off, cool, that was cool. Wait, isn't that like the IRL Titanic then? There's a leak in the boat. I definitely feel like this one could get a bit repetitive, but I feel like visually it's a bit more fun. Okay, let's see what's next. <clears throat> Moonview Highway from the Wii. Can they just never give us car tracks again? I hate them. Honestly, L. Okay, music goes crazy. Never mind, I actually love it. Oh, wait, I remember playing this now. I would fall off on this. <laughs> The part with the red grates every single time. I'm getting flashbacks. Cause the only other Wii game I or the only other Mario Kart game I played was on the Wii. And I do want to play it again for stream, but I don't think I can handle just motion controls. I would lose my mind. Oh. I love when the bars go up and down. I think it's a very nice touch. Oh, very short track. Oh, and then the side wall path? Oh, okay. I kind of remember this track a little bit. Oh my god! Sorry, the cars always make me jump. Okay, I wanna try and get up here. Oh, I'm in. Oh yeah, I would always go for that side ramp, but then I'd fall off this edge here. But it does- it seems more forgiving. Like, it seems like there's more, I guess, road space? Or maybe it's because I'm playing with an actually good controller now. It was alright. I think definitely one of the easier road-based tracks. Honestly, I'm a bit biased because I played this one on the Wii. But this one was easy. I agree, the music was very good. Like the opening part? Perfect. Okay, next, final track of this pre. 
squeaky clean sprint. What is that name? Oh, is this a new track? I guess this is kind of matching the theme of Ribbon Road, like you're a miniature in like a, a human's house. We can trick off the drain. I like all the different textures. Like some environment pieces shine and some don't, like the towel texture too. Ooh, okay, we're going under. Oh my god, is this shit? Oh no. Oh, an engagement ring? A nail? Okay, the fan mechanic was cool. Can I go in the toilet? <laughs> the music sounds so happy for us being literally in the sewers for part of this track. Set tapes in the bathroom. Kinda weird. I mean, we used to keep like little handheld games in the bathroom. But why would you need a cassette tape? Like, are you just in the bathtub listening to music? You're like, ooh, the acoustics while in the bath is splendid. the toilet doing that? I am proud to say I have yet to overflow a toilet. Oh, they're bath bombs. I was wondering what those were. Okay, I don't think there's any way to avoid this sewer section. I feel like it's part of it. Try to go in the toilet this time? I don't want to, though. That's icky. Oh, okay, I see. Is this any faster? The pack looks a bit shorter. Oh, there is a boost. Okay, that is so much faster. Oh, uh, look at all the toilet water. I'm glistening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this pretty honestly fun. Minus the first track, it was it was fun. Easy three star gold trophy first try. Easy. Guys, I'm a pro. Okay, now time for the next pre. I think I'm still gonna play as, um, Kamek? Or Comic. Because I want to try the lighter weight character first. Okay, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I mean, I, I was kind of looking. It was in my peripherals, but I couldn't, like, see. Okay, the cherry cup. Los Angeles laps. Oh my god, I love be beach tracks. It's like the pier. Oh, 
Oh, is this like a skate park? That's fun. Okay, it is kind of hard to tell where to go on the sand. Oh, and they have a bike lane? Wish we had that here. I swear, anytime I try to drive on the road, I almost get hit by a car every single time. There's only one road in my whole town that has a bike lane. And it's in like the richy rich part of town. For me? No way. Oh, this is lap three. I was like, how is this still lap one? So it's another non-looping track. Oh, there was another path to the left. Damn, two bike lanes? Holy. They're balling out here. Bus station? They have transit? Okay, I didn't do it in time. Are they fracking? I thought California was anti-fracking. <laughs> oh, there's a part you can use the parachute. I saw some rings up top. Ooh, that's a really sharp turn. Yeah, that one was fun. I liked it. I feel like with most of the non-looping tracks, it's gonna take a while to learn them. I do feel a lot of these tracks are very bright and colorful, like very summery. Okay, Sunset Wild. Oh, that purple like haze effect is cool. Oh, dude, I love when there's new DLC. Oh wait, look at the the guardrails. It's rainbow. Guys, Pride Month is over. Trumpets? I'm such a sucker. Oh, there's oil! The chrome effect on the oil spills is nice. are so pretty together. People hate this track for some reason. It feels very short. And it's also kind of flat, but visually I think it's nice. This one feels kind of like filler. Like, I don't think anybody would say this is their favorite, but it's still like enjoyable. Oh, those are huge dino tracks. Nice. I thought those were oil spills. But this one is still, like, enjoyable to play. I like how it's, like, really twisty and turny. I missed. A nice try, Bloodwig! Ooh, and the Lens Flare, too? Holy! Dodge. I don't know how you'd run into him. Easy. 
In GB, the sky would get darker every map. Ooh, that's an interesting mechanic. Okay, next track. Oh my god, this was like top three from the Wii in my opinion. Koopa Cape. Yes! Finally! Why do they have like an abacus up top? Weird. It's so Nintendo can count all the money they're making from the DLC. I think this is also one of my favorite songs from Mario Kart. God damn, I hit- I would hit the Koopas every single fucking time playing on the goddamn Wii and I would get so mad. Like, I would play this at my friend's house and I would get quietly very angry. <laughs> oh, these lines are kinda hard. The paths are really skinny too. Anti-gravity? Okay. Another one I'm looking forward to is Toad's Factory. That was another one of my top ones. I'm not ever going for the half pipes ever. They're a scam. Oh, dude! That shell is way too big. Ooh, interior half pipe? Weird. I feel like this one would be very difficult at 200. Nice. Yeah, that one was fun. Yes, I'm biased, but I feel like this one would be very tricky at 200, but it'd be like a fun kind of tricky. Do you want any other cities in particular? No. I don't know. I haven't traveled much. A final new track. Mario Kart Tour Vancouver Velocity. A good handful of city tracks, this DLC. Suspension bridge, okay. Oh! <laughs> hey, the lights on the edge of the, the bridge is kind of trippy a little bit. Be 
music sounds too epic almost. Another non-looping track. Very dark. I mean, it is in Canada. I feel like all of Canada is just a way better Washington. Stop! <laughs> oh, okay, in here. So it's not a straight shot. What I do like about the city tracks is that the lighting is really pretty. Like, especially when you go through the, I guess, commerce areas. A lot of different colors. Ooh, tunnels like that IRL scare me. Because I get so paranoid, I'm like, what if there's an accident and then I can't make a call because there's no cell service in those tunnels. Oh, and I also feel like everybody would do the thing where they held their breath. I would always win those games, just saying. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, nice, nice. I gotta think about which is my favorite track. I think we gotta look at them together. I'm also a bit biased because I'm in a really good mood today. Like, everything was nice. Minus the looks of the Athens one. It was kind of bull. <laughs> Wave 5 tier list real? Yes, sir. Kill it, say. Another three star go trophy? Easy, guys. I'm cracked. Nobody can say I'm a bad gamer now. I'll do Wiggler for the fans. Okay, so let's review. Buttercup, Athens Dash was... Oh, oops. Okay, Athens Dash was alright. I like the terrain a lot, like... I think it was very dynamic, there's a lot of variety, but visually, icky. Way too much browns, way too much tans. Daisy Cruiser? I like the bar when you went underwater. Otherwise, I feel like it can get, it can get kind of boring, but I do feel like the design aspects within the within the environment kind of did emphasize it, like you're on a ship, like the, the table sliding back and forth inside the dining hall. It was very nice. Moonview Highway, I'm biased. I played it on the Wii. I think very, very easy for a track that has cars on it. Like, the only time I hit cars was when I hit the bob bomb ones. That's because I didn't see them. Because they're, to me, I think it's because, like, the color of the actual bob bomb is very close to the color of the road. And then squeaky clean sprint, design-wise, crazy. So many different, like, little knickknacks. I like how a lot of the, I guess, inner workings of a bathroom was part of the terrain, like the part where you ride the squirting water out of the toilet or going down the sewer drain was very fun and then for the cherry cup los angeles laughs i think it was all right like i don't the only part i remember it from it is like the fracking joke i made i don't remember anything else about it so it's kind of just like any other city track sunset wilds Visually, I think the prettiest. I really like the purple haze effect. And also the rainbow bricks along the edge. I love representation. <laughs> but I do feel the track was a bit simple. Koopa Cape. One of my top three tracks on the Wii. Definitely felt easier, easier when you're playing with like um, stick controllers. I don't know if it was my favorite. And then Vancouver Velocity. Just another city track. Very dark visually, surprisingly. It was alright. I don't know if Wave 5 was as good as Wave 4. I think Wave 4 is my peak, honestly. 
But if I had to pick which pre I liked more... I think overall Feather Cup has a lot more dynamic tracks in it. And if I had to choose a favorite track from this wave... I feel like... Mm, controversial. I feel like none of these are like... Super memorable. But I think the most fun to actually play was Athens. I think Athens was the most fun to play. But visually, I like the look of Sunset Wilds a lot. Oh no. I, I think my take is bad. I think if I did try the, I guess, underwater path at the end of JDC Cruiser, I think I might like it more, but since I only tried it the last lap... I mean, we'll have time to play around today. I want to do a few laps of these at 200cc just to see. So everybody, that is my thoughts on the Wave 5 DLC. I have to say, ranking-wise... I have to say B. It's nothing crazy, nothing really stands out, but a few individual solid good tracks. Hi, Potato. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Now, everybody, it's been a while since we've played Mario Kart, but you guys know the drill. I have my little cue cards here. If you guys have any questions yourself, ask away. Ask me anything, and I will answer. <laughs> music tier list oh my god i people would get so bad i don't know music theory at all i'm just like ooh, the beep boop sound good i will be doing a mario kart track tier list maybe next week um because i want to rank all the normal eight deluxe tracks individually and then once all the dlc tracks are out then i'll rank all the dlc tracks in a separate stream so that'll probably be next week, and then I want to do another stream. Don't say I'm copying Squeaks. I saw him do this the other day, and I already, I already had this in the back of my mind. But I want to do a stream where I get first in every single track, 200cc. Oh, the Wiggler is weird. He surprisingly turns very quick. Also, I love how... He just has two arms just hanging. Honestly, he probably has a huge advantage because he's got four arms. He can always have two hands on the handlebars. Oh, can I go up? Oh, come on. I feel like I could have gone up there. Oh, my 200 DC is crazy. It's crazy. Oh, that's so cute. That is such a nice design touch. Okay, this part is kind of tricky when it's faster. He does sound higher pitched than I imagined. I forgot this part. Oh, every time he gets hit, he turns red. He sounds like Toad a little bit. Oh, come on, I'm so close! Oh my god! Stop! Stop! Look at this! No! He robbed me! Wait, it was like at the last second.
Because look, I had it here. And right at the end! Oh my god, brutal! Oh, his dance is so cute though, look at that. Okay, I might... I might have become a Wiggler main. He's so cute! I've converted! to the right because I saw mystery boxes. Well, okay, I fall down here. I get ratioed. Oh, that, that part is hard. There's nothing here. That's just a debate. That is genuinely so mean. See, you would think there's just like a straight path, but you run straight into a wall after that staircase. any better. The only benefit is that you get a mystery box. So I guess you can go on that path in a pinch. Dude, I'm really mad! Dude, fourth place? I fell off. I can't. That's so bad. Oh, look, you still have to look at him wiggle in. This one is just as easy in 200. as tight to the right as I can be. Oh my god! <laughs> I think what I've noticed too is that the bottles only spawn on the right side of the road. cars on this track on this track as well but my biggest gripe with any of these highway tracks is that turns like this one where you can't physically see the car on the corner that's like IRL scary 
Stop! Okay, I saw I saw that one. Wait, you're saying that people shitting on the hybrid tracks is invalid? Stop! I just hate cars. Oh, there's an upper path? Wait. They leaked it. Yeah, I agree. I do think Moonview is the best hard track. Okay, I saw a path up here. Yeah, see, there's sponges. Okay, I think this one- shit. <laughs> this one has been the easiest to play so far, 200. But yeah, you can't reach the right path if you don't go in the toilet bowl. Oh, L, L, L. See, so how do I get there? Oh, it's just coins? Okay, that's kind of a deal-in. Face too. I didn't realize he got mad. I just thought he turned red. Just like the movie. God. That's so bad. You know what else is so bad? The ads. But you know what? I gotta do them because everybody, we are an hour into stream. So, Foo, I was gonna say, if you're, yeah, if you're new here, follow the channel and get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. That way you can avoid the ad. All you need to do is subscribe for $4.99 or $5 to keep your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for a few with Prime. I think Prime Day is still going on, so most of you should have an Amazon Prime account. Because they're a big company. So click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're going to keep on practicing a little bit more with these tracks. Do a little bit of story times. Once I get the hang of them. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Mario Karting. <laughs> Hi, Hacker. Welcome in. Thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, Hacker. Can we get some yo's? It's been a while since we've seen you, hun. Where have you been? But hi, Hacker. Have you played the new DLC yet? What do you think? We just finished um, reacting to it. Oh, yeah. Can we get some whackers in chat? Oh, dude, L, third place, cringe, cringe. Okay, hey, let's play as PD Piranha. <laughs> Wait. 
I did not expect his voice to sound like that. Oh! <laughs> Is it time to use the character that doesn't let you see your damn screen because his head is inflated? You know, I can relate because my brain is also very big. I feel like these tracks favor inside drifting. Well, that's for me. I do feel like a lot of these tracks have like, a lot of like really tight, twisty turns. That's why like I think I enjoyed most of like the actual lines so far. Well, it looks like he's wearing a little diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, his head is massive. And his arm sticks out a lot, too. I feel like the shading on this character model is not right. Like, his colors are way too saturated still. So it is kind of disorienting whenever I play heavy characters on this bike build because I feel like even more so my whole bike is going to tip over. Oh, I forgot to go for that side path. The colors are like that because you don't have the OLED, really? I'll have to ask my sister to play on her OLED then. I mean, she didn't say I could use it for stream because if I used it for stream, I'd have to transfer my account over. And I don't want to do that. Because at first, my sister was like, No, you cannot use my OLED! Because she literally bought it just so she could play Bayonetta when she got home from work and not have to wait for me to like get off the console. And then, like, after she beat uh, Bayonetta, she was like, Oh, actually, you can use it for stream if you want now. But when we realized that you can only have your account on one console, we are like, Oh, we can't do that. You don't actually know you're assuming? Why are you spreading misinformation in the chat room? That is so evil. Shame on you. We look at his arms, he's just like... Looks like he's flying, he's floating. I can never get into Bayonetta. I, like, I would watch my sister play, but it's not the type of gameplay I personally enjoy. I did think it was funny how there was like so many cutscenes. Okay, this one is actually kind of difficult at 200. I gotta try her a little bit. Dude, imagine if I was playing this on my shitty ass Joy-Con. I would be losing my mind. Because I didn't know that you could like test the calibration on the Joy-Con. Because like maybe I can recalibrate it. But I can't. They're just busted. get fixed for free. Nah, but okay, how long would that take though? Because I, I needed it for stream, right? So like I might as well order one and hopefully it'll get here within a week and I, it came in like five days? Because they arrived 
Not yesterday, but yeah, Tuesday. Because I was gonna like buy like a non Nintendo one. Because they were a bit cheaper, but then I was like. I don't know, I feel kind of weird like buying off brand things. For me, it like looks. Beep. I don't know. It took two to three weeks. Yeah, I would not be able to wait that long. Because since I've been playing my, like, my Switch in bed, like, I'll play, Co I'll play Cozy Girl right before bed. So, like, I needed a new Joy-Con. But thankfully I had money, because I've been donating Plasma, which is very good. Ah, uh, still this is the best music. I can't get over it. Oh, this is- okay, this is gonna be crazy. I was right, this one is gonna be difficult at 200. Oh, I guess I could- I could have boosted through the grass. This part makes me feel like I'm gonna not make it through the tube. I was looking at Chad. I definitely feel like this wave has the most difficult tracks in terms of like actual lines. Maybe I should not trick off that ramp, or maybe I should just go for the half pipe. Because I feel like if I try to avoid the half pipe, it'd be too sharp a turn. I wanna try cut through the grass here. Okay, that was a lot easier. I can't, I can't see ahead. Easy! Oh, I thought that was the last lap! Shit! Ignore me. I... I need to get good. Okay, so I trick here. Half five. Ooh, that was still bad. Dude, he takes up the whole ass screen! It's like me when I take pictures. Fall off? Oh, you can't fall off. I should have said I was lurking. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You don't gotta announce your presence if you don't want to. Um, one of my friends, they started like watching my stream. <laughs> Obviously, like I know they're using, but they haven't chatted yet. And they said they probably won't ever chat because they're just like too scared. They're like, what do I even say? I'm like, just say something funny or just say hi, you know? But I know some people don't necessarily like like engaging, and that that's totally fine. I know me as a viewer too, like, I don't necessarily chat during the whole stream. Because, like, my chatting sound, like, I, I like to, like, add something to whatever the streamer is commentating. So, like, I, I usually will try to, like, say something funny. What have you liked so far? 
Um, your mom? <laughs> no. I like the Wiggler a lot, actually. I thought I'd hate it, but it's kind of cute. I really like how he turns red when he's angry. Okay, I don't like the arena part. It's kind of dumb. Okay, I think the Piranha one is my least favorite. Because I, I just don't like heavier characters. And if anybody says Wiggler is heavyset, I'm not listening to them. They're fake news. The Wiggler is cute. How about we do a poll? Which was your guys' favorite character? There's... Petey. I did a Y instead of T. Petey. Comic. And Wiggler. Which was your guys' favorite character from this DLC? Go vote, go vote. Which was your favorite? I'm gonna vote. My favorite was Wiggler. Wiggler all the way. <laughs> yeah, Petey was cute, but I just didn't like how he handled. Not my fave. I'm also British now. <laughs> Wait, I just realized I missed 11-11 today. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Damn, nobody likes Petey so far. Eat your words, chatters. Yeah, I, I'm gonna keep at 200 for now. And I'm gonna play Wiggler. Wiggler is my favorite. I did also- I like the trick animations for comic. They were actually really cute. And also very queer-coded. I'm gonna get really good at this one. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Scratch that, actually. I wanna be the worst. Wiggler sounds like a mix between Toad and Yoshi. Like, he sounds like a slightly more gravelly Yoshi. And it's honestly really cute. Wiggler goes to show is that you can't judge somebody off of their looks. You gotta get to know them first. <laughs> okay. So I need a boost. I just realized I played the wrong cups yesterday. Really? So you haven't seen any of these? You're so silly. Were you playing it just like, huh? These seem very familiar. <laughs> Dude, I can't.
Where you're just like, damn, the devs are scamming. No new tracks? Okay, I take- oh, this is so bad. We- we don't talk about this one. Oh, it's so sad! <laughs> okay, everybody. AMA, ask me anything, and I have to answer. way too much. Okay, so whenever I go up the final set of stairs, I have to stay to the far right. Which is easy for me, actually. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I do think one of my favorite parts of voting is looking at whatever like smaller politicians that are in my region like what their platforms are like the last during the last primary my sister and i like voted together like we didn't fill out each other's ballots no no we were just like looking up like the actual politicians websites individually because we didn't get like a voter's pamphlet in the mail and <laughs> there was so many wild platforms <laughs> Because I live in Washington State, so like we have a lot of Dems, right? Not many Republican figures, but sometimes for some counties, Republicans still do take a um, majority. And it's so funny to read some of the Republicans' platforms. Because like on their website, one guy, I don't remember his name, and I don't care. But he was like, we need to stop the vaccine here in Washington. And I'm like, oh my god, it was crazy. He was also like, we need to get it to Hillary's laptop. And it's like, it was on his professional, like, website. And he was running as, like, an independent Washington representative. And it was the funniest shit. It was probably some, like, white guy from, like, Eastern Washington. We don't talk about Eastern Washington here. See, like, my- my thing is, I feel like Washington is a very, like, libertarian state. But it's like, if you're gonna, like, believe in the far right shit, just move to Alabama, you know? <laughs> it's like, you'll fit in a lot more there. But honestly, I love voting. I think it's so fun. I've never, like, voted in person, though, because in Washington, they have mail-in ballots, so you can, like, request. I literally- it spawned. I did not see it. So, you can request to have it mailed to you, and then you can just mail it back. The only thing I wish I had is I wish they gave us, like, a little I voted sticker. Because they don't mail those out. You got a sticker on the mail? That is so mean. That's unfair. Well, I just saw the moon, holy. I don't know if 
I'd ever vote in person because I would just be so scared that I wouldn't make it in time. But honestly, not many people in Washington vote in person. It's usually just like the old people. Because like, imagine you get to the voting center like a minute before they close. Why is election day not a holiday? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder why election day is not a holiday. Maybe it's so they can keep repressing the working class. Hmm. I mean, we were we were learning about it in the 4th of July videos. For your job, they legally have to give you 2 hours of paid off to go. Really? That is surprising for the company you work for. <laughs> that is very surprising. Fuck this map. Oh my god! I mean, that's honestly kind of based. Maybe I should work for there. Oh, it's a state thing? Oh. Never mind then. <laughs> I was going to L Dollar Tree. <laughs> But if that's a statewide policy, that is actually kind of interesting. It's like a paid holiday? Or paid PTO? I mean, I feel like that would encourage more people to actually vote. Your mom and dad's workplace does it too? Oh, it, could, it probably is a state policy. Somebody look it up. Mac, look it up. Toothbrushes in the bathtub? Kind of weird. Okay, does anybody brush their teeth in the shower? I know that's like jokingly some people do it, but does anybody generally brush their teeth in the shower? I think it's kind of gross. Because I don't think like shower or bath water is meant to be drunken. I don't think it's potable water. I mean, I don't know. I know in like some countries, like any water source has to be potable. Meaning drinkable. But I, I don't even like brushing my teeth. I can't picture- <laughs> I can't picture myself brushing my teeth in the shower. I know a few friends who have told me they've done it like unironically like in a hotel room, but I- I- I don't- Ew. Ew. You time yourself when you brush your teeth? That's what little five-year-olds do, like they have little counter timers. I remember I did that, but my parents would like flip the timer, but then once they walked out of the bathroom, I would just flip the timer over. Because I hated brushing my teeth. Because my dad, he would brush our teeth like so hard that our gums would literally bleed. So I, I don't like brushing my teeth. Two minutes is the dentist's recommendation? Well, I'm just speed running brushing my teeth. Because I'm a gamer. You drink your toothpaste? Nah. I do know that you're not supposed to like um, rinse your mouth after you do mouthwash. But you're just supposed to like spit it all out. I do 30 seconds in each quadrant for a total of two minutes when I brush my teeth. Cause that's what my dentist told me to do. I need to calm down. See, this is what happens when I don't go live for a day. I think it's so funny when you laugh at your own joke. Okay, if I don't laugh at my own jokes, then am I actually funny? 
You know, this is how I keep myself sane and happy. If I don't laugh at my own jokes, then it means nothing. Because, okay. Because, okay, especially if you're, like, you're a smaller streamer, you don't necessarily get reactions after every single little joke you make. Like, if I were at a point where, like, any single, like, joke I made, I got, like, one kick W, that would be the dream. I know you guys, you guys are, like, a Lamau chat room, which is also very good. But, it's, <laughs> like, if I don't get a Lamau after every little joke I make, I feel like I have to, like, fill the space. I don't know, who's seeing the Barbie movie next week? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see it. There's also, like, a Baskin Robbins very close to the theater, so we might get the ice cream sundae after... But my sister- Oh, this is a dead end. Fuck me! Oh my god! But my sister is so silly, because she keeps on seeing ads for the Barbie ice cream sundae thing. And I, I don't remember what flavor it is, but it has like graham crackers in it. And she hates graham crackers and ice cream. So she's always like, oh, do you want to get the Barbie ice cream? She's like, I want to try. I'm like, no, you're literally not going to like it. And then she'll say the same thing again like three days later. She's like, hey, I saw the ad for the ice cream again. I want to try it. I'm like, no, dumbass. You don't like graham crackers, so you're not going to like it. It's frustrating. <laughs> Sometimes she has the mind of a little goldfish. Or the memory, not the mind. <laughs> I mean, her brain is smaller than mine, though. That is, that is the one-up I have on her. So many places have promotions for it. The only reason why there's so much promo for the Barbie movie is because it's owned by Mattel. So they already have like an in for product placements. And I feel like um, in, in America, there aren't many like um, like celebrity or like movie collabs versus like other foreign countries where there's like a lot more product placement with like characters or like promotional packaging. Like, I saw in Brazil, there's, like, a Barbie burger at Burger King. And it has, like, pink sauce. And it looks kind of good. Who doesn't like graham crackers? I don't like graham crackers too much. Like, I'm not, I, they're all right. Like, it, it's the texture thing. Fuck you, Roy. Wait, is, that's not even Roy, I don't think. They have a whole house you can buy on Airbnb. Dude, should we do a stream from the Barbie house? How many subs do I need to get to, <laughs> to rent out the Barbie house? Can we do it, guys? Somebody do the math. <laughs> five subs? Can we get five subs right now and I will rent out the Barbie house? If you did that, I'd be so happy. I mean, I- Okay, if I ever, like, make really good money from stream or YouTube- Everybody, go sub to my YouTube channels! Exclamation YouTube in chat! If I ever get to a point where, like, I do make decent money from YouTube, I do want to do, like, planned vlogs where I, like, go do shit. And then we can, like- I would still upload them as, like, YouTube videos, but then we can, like, react to them on stream. And do like commentary. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Wait, a cut? Secret? Okay, I, I just want to see what's here. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. Wait, so shortcut? Shortcut? Yeah, there are a lot of things to do in Washington. I, I do feel like... The West Coast is pretty solid. There's a lot- there's a huge variety of things to do here. There's like a variety of terrain. We have mountains, we have lakes, we have rivers. We have so much here. I have a lot. Booking hasn't even opened for the Barbie house? Damn. Maybe they're still filming. Okay, I wanna actually- how much does it cost? Alright. Let's see. I mean, if they're not booking, the price probably isn't public yet, right? So, Barbie... Airbnb.
Only $60 a night? That cannot be a- that cannot be right. This is an article from the Washington Post. That cannot be right. That is- That is cheaper than a cheap hotel. Not that I would know. Not that I would know. Okay, Airbnb announced the Barbie Malibu Dream House on June 25th to promote the live-action movie in July. Airbnb is opening up extremely limited slots to coincide with the July 21st release of the movie. Wait, all st what? The all stays will be free of charge because Ken couldn't figure out how to put a price on Barbie Malibu's dream house. But the announcement says previously a two night stay cost about $60 a night. The house will open for booking requests July 17th, but only two one night stays will be available. Oh. So it's not like a permanent unit. They're just opening it for the weekend. And then it says, it's not clear how Airbnb will determine who gets to stay in Ken's space. The listing is clear that the campaign is not a contest. Dude, it's pay to win! $60? That's insane! Whoever gets it better use it well. Yeah, it would be two person, me and your guys' moms. I would sneak them all in my suitcase. $60 a night? Dude, that is crazy! We totally could have done it! Ah. Okay, if a chatter wins it, you have to take me. You guys have to take me. And I'll just get out of the hotel room somewhere else. Can I have the house in my backyard? I mean, they do have the large Barbie houses, right? So you only need 12 subs to go? Well, it's in Malibu. Wait, okay. Is Malibu in Florida or California? It's California, right? Don't laugh at me! Don't laugh at me! Stop! I- I'm really bad at geography. Wait, no, I can't- No! No! Stop! Somebody tell me! Is it in California or Florida? Why should it be in Virginia or some shit? Where- Malibu is- It's- it's California- Don't somebody tell me, please! Let her cook! Okay, this I think is the most difficult track of the whole DLC. It's in Washington? No way! I'll go right now! Okay, seriously, somebody- A wholesome chatter, please tell me where it is. Please. No one here is wholesome? Now you right, you right. I have no idea. See, it's not just me. Because, like, I feel like Florida and California, like, tourist-wise, are very similar. It's just Florida is crazy. You know where it is? Tell me. I took so many L's, but I still got second. I'm actually really good. Is it in- is it- 
Okay, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Okay, where is Malibu? You liar! <laughs> that is so mean. I don't like liars. You know what happens to liars? California. Damn, I snapped Noshi and, and he had a triple banana. He's having a bad day and it's all my fault. But you know what? I have no regret. And that's why, kids, you should use multiple forms of protection. <laughs> I have a story about that? No! Don't, don't, don't. That, I don't think that's a stream safe story. <laughs> it's safe? Uh, nah, it's, it's- how about- you, you, you share that on your stream, Mac. Whenever- when are you gonna stream, huh? It's been months since we've had a Corpa meeting. Everything set up. Ooh, very nice. Vito, did you say a bad word? Oh, it's because I said you can't share? I save it for your stream. That way you can get everybody to watch your channel. Talking about watching other channels, guys, I will be on Emmy Beef's podcast this Sunday at 5 p.m. PST. So six hours after my normal start time. So make sure you're following her Twitch channel. It is pinned in the chat room, twitch.tv slash at Emmy Beef. Um, make sure you're following before Sunday. That way you're able to type in her chat because I might tell her to do follower only chat. So make sure you're following her channel. Um, let's do a little bit of online. Let's do a little bit. Yes, I will be on camera for the podcast. Begrudgingly. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of silly faces. <laughs> We're also gonna clip it so we can be on, like, the anti-feminist podcast. <laughs> you, you, you know... You know the clips of, like, the pro-Andrew Tate anti-feminist people? That's what we're going for, baby! Nah, we're gonna be talking about art. So, just nerd shit. Ooh, winner's POV. Oh, chatters. I will be doing a sub-only stream tomorrow. I know I said I want to try to do sub onlys in the afternoons, but I have a plan. Um, I have shit to do at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So if we do a sub-only stream tomorrow, I'll probably still stream at like 11. Do you guys want to do Cult of the Lamb or 
playing with viewers Mario Party. Because I'll do Mario Party if I have at least two people who want to play. Oh, loser POV! Oh, no! Um, sub only will be a, my normal stream time, so 11 a.m. PST. But from next week on, um, sub only streams will be in the afternoon or evening. Because that way more people could actually play. Yeah, I'll ask again near the end of stream, that way we can get a bit more input. If you don't choose the DLC, you're a fake fan. A rare unanimous vote? Come on. Let's see. Fuck you, top right! Ruining our fun. Okay, guys, ask me anything and I have to be honest. Damn, look at this. He ruined it. It almost was 100%. Is it gonna choose top right? I hope not. <laughs> L. Okay, I'm gonna absolutely demolish this. Oh, sorry, that was my controller. I got really mad that I didn't choose top right. <clears throat> yeah, the piranha plant's colors look way too saturated. They don't, like, match the world. Oh, this is mirrored! Oh, no. Dude, let me have a chance to memorize the lines, at least. Everybody got it. Oh. What's my favorite Dorito flavor? Ooh, okay. Call me basic, but I personally love the Cool Ranch. I don't like the other fancy flavors. Even nacho cheese is... It's not spicy. It's almost like the flavor is too intense. And I like how there's different co colored speckles in the Cool Ranch one. I also haven't had Doritos in a long time. Because I've been trying to have like healthier snacks. Like the only chips I'll buy now are like pita chips and then I'll get hummus. But I am a sucker for Cheetos. Nothing will beat Cheetos. Like the 420 blaze it memes, like 360 no scope were popping off when I was like in like late middle school and early high school, so all the all the kids would bring in Doritos to school. <laughs> like for the meme. What's my preferred Cheeto type? I like I'm not gonna say it. I like the crunchy Cheetos. There we go, that's a better word. <laughs> I think the texture of the soft Cheetos, it, it like, dis it disintegrates in your mouth and it's very icky. The hard ones? Yeah, I'm not gonna say that though. Oh wait! <laughs> My mom likes the puffs, but she was the only one in the house who liked the texture of the puffs and she could never eat them in time. I love the texture of a crispy chip. Dude, I'm in <laughs> Look, did you see him like hitting his handlebars? He's so mad. My goal is to get new glasses by November with my plasma money. Because I like these, they're nice, but no matter how much I clean them, they. They always seem foggy still. 
And also, like, I've, I've, like, stretched them out too far, so they always, like, fall down. I did finally get a, like, the little mini screwdrivers, though. Why do people like Mute City so much? I don't know. I feel like it's fun. I do think the R0... Is that what it's called? R0? Wait, no. I don't... I, I get those mixed up because I feel like visibly the um, big blue Mute City looks so similar. To me, they're all the same track. I think because the skip at the end of Mute City is crazy. Like, it's actually insane. I remember when I saw it for the first time. Because I know most of the Mario Kart skips, I just don't do them often because I, I, I lack the confidence. But whenever I saw somebody did, do the Mute City skip, I watched it on Prezzo's stream. Like, I remember I was, like, in awe for a few seconds after, like, I had no idea that was there. So whenever I think of Mute City, I always think of that skip. Wait, I'm in third? Hold? Um, guys, if I get, um, first place, I will give Chad a sub next week. I owe you guys two subs. Because I gotta pay off my P.O. box this week and then my website next week, so I gotta set aside money for that. Oh, and I get my Twitch payout on Saturday. I keep forgetting. Fuck you. blasted in the air. Oh wait, I thought if he got hit by what lightning he just fall down. I guess you keep your parachute. Anyway, it doesn't happen often for me, so I always forget. No! Oh my god. That was sad. I could have clutched. Also, chatters, um, clip the stream if you see something funny. You might get best clipper and get VIP for a month and a gift card because I am able to afford gift cards. Uh, Cobobble, you'll get your um gift cards next next week. Because if my disability gets denied again, then I just gotta keep donating plasma. Which is fine. You know, plus 100 a week. It just takes so much time. Wait, has the cart build meta changed too? 
it seems like most everybody still has rollers. Fuck off! Sorry, I got <laughs> mad. Cute how you see characters in the background just waving. I think I would like to actually see a car race in person one day. I, I feel like that's a staple of American culture. I've been to horse races, but never a car race. I have seen people race on the highway, though, at like 10 p.m. I've seen that. Because I've never been too big on big sports games. It's because my parents don't like sports. So they never really took us to any. We would only go to the... Um, horse track, like, once every few months so my dad could, like, gamble a little bit. But the only sports games I've gone to is, I went to a Mariners game when I was in, like, middle school because my friend took me. And it was alright, kind of boring, not gonna lie, but I was in middle school so my attention span was not it. I was not having it. But I think now as an adult, I just want to experience more things. I think I do want to see a baseball game again. Oh, he's so happy! Look at him! I think I'll finally play some Cozy Girl on stream. It's been almost a month. And since I haven't been doing any of the Cozy Girl story offline, my island is just at a standstill. My, my world has changed so much, you guys will see. Ooh, Coconut Mall, if I get first, uh, chat gets a sub next week. new joy con I think we're gonna play more Mario Kart online because I, I genuinely want to get good. Yes, I have been playing Cozy Grove daily. Like, just to get resources, but I haven't been doing any of, like, the story missions. Because I don't want to, like, miss out on lore, I guess. For you guys. Oh my god! trying to convince my sister to buy Cuphead <laughs> just so she can like play with me to co-op offline because I my sister and I are equally bad at bullet hell games and honestly I want a reason to get mad at her because <laughs> when we were little my sister and I would play Super Mario Brothers on the Wii 
and she would intentionally make me fall off the map. Like, she would pick me up and throw me. She would go too far ahead, so I'd go into bubble, like, every five seconds. So if, I, if, I, if we can play Cuphead together and I can fuck with her the whole time, that's what I want to do. Oh my god, second place, wait. Wait. <laughs> Two red shells? You think, fuck! I'm never gonna win. I just, I can't have anything nice anytime I have a chance. One more race. One more. To redeem myself, obviously. I'm very upset. Why choose Rainbow Road over squeaky clean sprint? Really? Oh, this is 150. If it was 200, I might have had a chance. Today's free fries on the McDonald's app? Wait. Wait. Hmm. I have so much food at home, though. I know I've been trying to eat out less in general, but if I'm out and about doing like errands, I might get like a little soda pop or a coffee. But I think the most frustrating thing is like seeing my roommates cough cough my sister. Like if we're out doing errands and she knows we have a fridge full of food and groceries at home. And she's like, hey, can we get Chick-fil-A? Can we get Popeyes? Can we get McDonald's? Like, we went to Walmart this weekend to do errands. And she literally asked me so many times if we can get food. And I'm like, dude, we're buying groceries right now. And I have meal preps for two days in advance. Like, stop asking. It's genuinely so frustrating. Because I get really upset whenever we have to throw away food. And I understand the novelty of eating out. But she's the one who's complaining that she's spending too much money on food. And he's like, bitch, stop getting McDonald's. Because my roommates, I told my sister to cancel her like Dash Pass premium account, and she did. But my other roommate still kept his, so they'll still order out like once a week. And she, fuck. And she's trying to save for like another trip. And I'm like, dude, if you're spending like $30, $40 on takeout every week, Stop complaining! <laughs> but free french fries? Okay, just don't tell her that. I might- I might go to McDonald's later. <laughs> Cause I don't have any meal prep for me right now. Cause I made my sister curry this morning and I don't like curry. So there's like, two days worth of curry in the fridge. Prep. Cause I've been trying to make myself less carbs. So, like, I'm, I'm trying to pack, like, veggies instead of rice with my proteins. Because having rice with every meal is not good. Okay, Mac, do you secretly work for McDonald's now? What is going on? Oh, no! Well, um, the peace and skip. Get fucked, everybody. That sucked. You know what else sucks? 
watching ads because everybody we are two hours in a stream so it's time for me to run some ads you can avoid that ad by subscribing for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can link your amazon prime to your twitch and hashtag sub for food prime click subscribe see if you have a prime sub available after the ad we're gonna keep on streaming we're gonna play a little bit of cozy grub catch up on our little island because we haven't played for a while you guys will see all the updates I've made since playing offline. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe! Okay. Let's see. You guys are going to be blown away. I've done so much to my little island. You don't have to make a purchase, dude. I swear, Mac is a is a McDonald's up. Okay, it says the summer festival on the bottom left. Summer festival kind of dumb. Also, see how it has like all these little tips and tricks? I've genuinely learned so much about the game mechanics just reading the loading screen. Because the loading screen takes so long anyway. And while we're waiting, guys, if you haven't already, go follow at Emmy Beef's channel. It is pinned in the chat room. I will be on her stream this Sunday at 5 p.m. PST. So six hours after my normal start time. We're going to be talking about art. Go follow. That way you can type in chat and contribute to the conversation. Um, the podcast will be about an hour-ish. Because her normal airtime is an hour, but it might go a bit longer since I'm her first guest. Because this is going to be her third episode, so she's still, like, getting the hang of it. Because the normal time that her podcast airs is 7pm. And she was like, do you want to make it earlier? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I go to bed at 7. I rise. Day 26 in game. Okay, now, you may notice my base looks very different than the last time we might have seen. Let me adjust chat real quick. There we go. Okay. So. So. Governor. This game is a bit more complex than I thought it was. So. Also, this game is laggy on fuck. <laughs> it's laggy as fuck when you play on console, but when you play handheld, it's actually pretty smooth. Um, so, I planted a lot more flowers. I also moved on my orchard, and I organized my orchard by type of tree. Because you can see how there's like different subtle shapes to the trees. And they're organized big to small. And then I also have my bushes organized big to small. Everything is in bloom. Um, I think flowers bloom every two to three days. Fruit is every, also every two to three days. So everything is in bloom. You guys get to see like everything all pretty. Okay, yesterday for some reason there was tents right here. So I have to move these bushes later off stream. Oh, do it off stream. Also, I have a lot of birds. I'm a, I'm a bird keeper now. And then I have a, a good handful of uh, deer. And you may notice, why are the animals glowing? Because the last time we played this on stream, I had only one bird. So how it works is you feed the animals different types of food. You can see the little icons above. And whenever you feed them a certain amount of times, they level up and then they give you greater resources. So this, see this little yellow bird? He's plain. He's basic. 
But all these glowing birds, they give me better resources. I also have... Because <laughs> remember how I used to just throw things on the ground like a psycho? Now... I put them into the actual storage inventory. And I've organized my inventory by um, resources, a prop... Um, craftable goods and food. Essences, which is used for crafting or buying decorations and flowers. Resources. Relics, which we'll get into. Um, resources again, and then decorations. Um, when I was playing offline, I didn't do any of the story missions. So these have basically been on hold for three weeks. So we're going to do those all today. Also... I figured out the crafting. I don't know if I did this on stream or not, but when you talk to this lady, when you bake something, this is where you make all the food to feed the animals. So that, I figured that out. Oh, you may also notice that everything is in color. Everything is no longer in black and white because... Because all these lamps, like if you pick it up, see how the light disappears? So I didn't realize I could craft lamps. So now I can craft as many lamps as I want. And I assume that lamps only lit whenever you did a story mission. Because you know how before, whenever you completed the bear's daily mission, he would like light up and then the area would turn colorful? You don't need to do that, you just need the lamps everywhere. So my, my goal over the past few weeks have been to cover my whole island with lamps. And I got most of it done. Like, th like this patch back here is still black and white. But it's so much easier because now that I can see everything in full color, like I can easily see... Like if I'm looking for a missing item, it's so much see easier to see in color. So yeah, I, I've done a lot. I, I also figured out so many of the, the mechanics in game. See, look, see how the bush is. It's so much easier easier to see when it's in color, because before it's just the same monochrome. But in color, these leaves are red, so they are very easy to see if you're searching for items for missions. Also, there will be these skulls lying around, and they will make a pattern. So. If you pick up the one that has horns, and then you place it to complete the pattern, because usually they're either like making a triangle or like a pyramid shape. So look, I placed it, completed the shape, and then they either give you like a recipe or a relic. They gave me a relic and then a decoration. Okay, so <laughs> I have learned a lot. So usually when I play, before starting the missions, I will usually do a loop around the island because throughout the day, more like leaf patches, more, um, more like, like these things, these things, these vines will spawn throughout the day. So if you do it first, then after like 10, 20 minutes, more will spawn. So I usually do a loop around the island first. You're a pro now? Yeah, I play it every day now. There was one day where I played for like four hours. <laughs> because once you do your dailies, like it's fine, but it's similar to Animal Crossing though, to where every new calendar month, new, um, you can buy new fruit trees, new little creatures will spawn. All types of cool jazz. Yeah, I need to- the only thing that's been holding me back is the story missions up here require me to upgrade my tools, but I wanted to save that to first stream. So see how this one says, oh, you need a pro machete to, to chop it down. Yeah, so I can't do that. But we get to do that today. And then another huge thing that I learned is if you have any- here, let's- let's get some flowers real quick. Dude, everything is in full bloom today. It actually looks really cute. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting a lot of resources in. 
Oh, also, you may notice that I'm rich. I have 600,000. So, the way to make money in this game is really easy. And we'll get into it when we talk to this grill over here. So, the recycling mechanic, I didn't understand it, but essentially how it works is... You give her items, and then she breaks it down into the previous smaller items. So if you give her the wood, she breaks it down into branches. If you give her branches, she'll give you money. And if you give her flowers, she will give you flower pigment, which is up this blue jar right here. And the flower pigment is used to craft decorations. It's also used to craft all those green lamps around my island, and it's also the easiest material to grind. That's why I have a fuck ton of flowers near my tent. So, if you want to get as many lamps as you can, you just get as many flowers and then you recycle them. And the best way to make money is to recycle the quartz gemstones. You cannot sell them, but you can recycle them for money. Um, so one gemstone is $600. So if I were to recycle all 893 that I have, I would get $535,000. And the way to get the quartz gemstones is sometimes they spawn randomly when you fish, or if you hit, them, hit the clams, sometimes you get gemstones. The fastest way to get gemstones though is to donate things to the pelican guy, like similar to the museum mechanic. And Usually, the crafted goods that you bake give a fuck ton of gems. So I've just been like making as much food as I can in game, that way I can donate it, and then I get a bunch of quartz gemstones. There was one point in the game where I had like two million dollars, because I donated like nearly two thousand of these gemstones. You still need these for crafting, so I usually only donate like five hundred at a time, that way I have like five hundred on standby. But anyway, so that's like basically all that I've learned offline in the two to three weeks that I've been playing. So I'm like, I know all of the, most of the inner workings now. And I feel so much more like, like ready to play whenever I open the game. I'm like, I know what I need to do now. Because I remember the times we played it on stream, I was just like aimlessly wandering around, like just searching for shit. But now I'm actually like building my base and the game is a lot more fun now. Oh, this- this grill down here, this is the summer festival. It's honestly kind of dumb. Um... Oh, yeah. Miss Carouse, sometimes I wonder what it's like to be, like, you, experiencing the flow of time so literally. I float from summer to summer, bringing my light to others. What does spring or fall taste like, I wonder? So... Basically, she helps you craft seasonal items, like seasonal decorations, which I don't really care too much about. And then there's fireworks. Because on 4th of July, there was like, um, just like fireworks popping on the screen. But honestly, no, I'm not interested in decorations. Also, I figured out how to change my outfit. It's here, you talk to Flamey, you do check out my clothing collection. And I did act- yeah, I did buy the sun hat. But look! This hair matches my hair so much more now. So I'm gonna swap to it. And it's cute because even though it's black, it has like a purpley hue to it. Cute! Now- now the hair actually looks a bit more like the texture I have. It's just the wrong color. But it's fine. Because when you buy the wigs, you can only- you can't change the color, you have to buy a different colored wig. I think you can dye them, but I'm not sure. I think you need the flower pigment to dye it. I, I gotta check it, but I don't care. It's close enough. Okay, what else? I think that is all that I've learned. Oh yeah, so let's actually start working on the missions. So, I need a wooden dowsing rod, and then I need a relic. Wait, Jeremy Gruffle. Okay, so... 
Because I, I had all the materials ready to go for these missions. That way when I did it on stream, we can just, like, get them done. Jeremy Gruffle. That's it. That's everything we need for a dowsing rod. Now let me just conjure up a little bit of that supernatural DIY spirit. And there we have it. One dowsing rod. You need to equip it and use your intuition. When it feels just right, you can mark the spot and dig. And hey, maybe I can borrow it in your off hours to start digging up some memories of my own. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like sharing. <laughs> no. Whenever you want, as long as you get it back to me. I'll be extra careful with it. Oh, he's so happy now. He's like, I've been waiting three weeks for this fucking dowsing rod. He's like, you're a horrible scout. Yeah, so see how everything, like, that explosion came out? So normally, if I didn't have the lamps, it would have been black and white, right? But now that I have the lamps, he's just in color all the time. Okay, what does the dowsing rod do? Okay, four localing spirit wells. Feels warmer in your hand the closer you get to it. Let's try this out. I think I needed the dowsing rod for another mission. Oh yeah, that was for Francesca Dupla. Yeah, I'm gonna rearrange some of my shit. Yeah, that's a bit butter. Dude, I'm so glad I can finally do these missions now. I was getting so annoyed not completing them offline. Okay, let's see what else I need to do. For Francesca, I need a dowsing rod and then any relic, which I have. Also, I think they updated the game to where you don't necessarily have to keep things in your backpack for it to count as your inventory. Like, when you go to craft, you can just have them in your storage instead of having them in your hand, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to go back and forth between your storage when you're crafting. Francesca Duclaw. Ah, I see Jeremy made you a fine dowsing rod. Let me take a look. And you brought me a relic, you know. Captain Bill Wither Snout has found is fond of collecting these. Once you're collecting relics regularly, you can even burn them into relic ash at your campfire. I'm told it's a valuable crafting ingredient. Does that seem disrespectful? I wouldn't worry. I'm sure the spirit concerned will let you know if they take issues with it. New relics appear all the time, so check for them with your dowsing rod each day. Speaking of which, I should give that back to you now. Happy dowsing! Ooh, plus one log. Okay. Ooh, now this is half in color. Yay. I also like these green lamps a lot because they blend in a lot more with the environment. Because I feel like some of the, the um, lamps are a bit too gaudy. So the only place that you can get relics every day is in the little skull thing. So I assume the dowsing rod just helps you find where the skulls are located. But they're pretty easy to find, so I don't think I really need the dowsing rod, honestly. Okay, so for Captain Billwether, we need to make a tea egg. Oh, the reason why we couldn't make the tea egg last time on stream is because I needed so much fucking bird essence, but now I have so many birds. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, I actually... Oh, that's a pickled egg. Here we go. Oh, it's happy bird essence. Oh yeah, because to make the... To make the happy bird essence, you either need... 25 base spirit bird essence, or if you have a leveled up bird, then they spawn happy bird essence. No, this is so... I know so much now. This could be like an actual walkthrough. <laughs> Guys, I'm a gamer. Okay, so whenever you bake an, an item in game, it takes five minutes for them to make it, and then it goes to the postal bear guy. So I got a bit of time. Okay, so... 
also at the shop now. I don't know why this happened, but you can buy one log a day for a thousand dollars. I think it's because I ignored the story missions for two weeks. They were just like, hey, you can just buy them now. So I've been buying logs every day. Yeah, see, like, if you were to buy 20 of those quartz, it's $60,000. What is nice, though, is that since I have so much money in game, I can literally buy everything in the shop and be unfazed. Is this what it's like to be a millionaire? Like, it's honestly pretty great. I, I think I'm gonna just stop being a socialist now. Yeah, at the shop, I usually just buy any raw fruit or ingredient. Because they take the two to three days in game to spawn, so I'm like, eh, if it costs 200 bucks, it's fine. The only thing that's kind of annoying about the shop is that if I were to select this item, like the cocoa bean, see how the cursor is on the cocoa bean, right? But then when the shop reopens here, it defaults to the top left item. So there's been a times where I've, I've bought in the wrong thing. I don't like how the cursor moves after you buy something. It's kind of dumb. Um, devs, get on it. And usually they sell a lamp in store every day, but... Like, they're a bit too gaudy, and I don't like when, like, aesthetics don't match. So I usually just... I'm gonna stay with my... My green lamps for now. For the flowers, since I have a lot already, I only buy flowers if it's a new one. It's kind of nice because in the description it tells you like the, the what it is, like the cost, and then also if you have donated it or not. So see how this one says, produces a new collectible. So I only buy new flowers because I don't want to overcrowd my space. But I usually buy every single tree and bush they have because fruit takes longer to spawn. Yeah, so see how, like, I'm buying the last thing on the bottom row, but then whenever I go to buy another item, it, it defaults to the top of the queue. It's stupid. Now we're just waiting for the, the tea egg to be made. give the logs finally to flamey because I have I think I have like five in my inventory <laughs> oh, I accidentally put a tree in no yeah I have six <laughs> dude I'm starving him go only two more logs before I'm full I sent someone as a log that you gonna give you well I have seven for you flamey you're gonna be eating good tonight. More? Just one more log and I'll be full. Ooh, cutscene. Beyond the beach, the forest and the town, I see... Fields. Great expanses, but not empty. A sprout shoots out of earth. If you meet him, I'd avoid any corny jokes. Please tell- okay, the fire seems ready, you're now scout rank 8. So usually whenever Flamey levels up, you get a new area. And I think- oh yeah, this is- this is new, this was not here yesterday. I think it's this area here. Yep, this is new, this wasn't here earlier. Finally. Oh, there's no new creatures, though. Come on. No new ghosts? That sucks. L. 
L. Flamey. Okay, if my theory is correct, in which the dowsing rod rotates. Oh. It says it gets warmer when you're closer to a relic. It says I'm cold. Well, I guess my theory was incorrect. I usually get the daily relics from these skulls anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Easy. Yeah, this game is just like very repetitive mechanics like that you do every day. Similar to Animal Crossing. But I very much enjoy it. I think it's because like this game is more visually interesting than Animal Crossing. A lot more textures, a lot more I guess unconventional colors. Let's give him more logs. Yum! Only ten more logs before I'm full. Yeah, I was holding off on feeding him because I I obviously didn't want to like expand my area without showing you guys. Delicious! Only nine more. Dude, he's stuffed. <laughs> oh, I gave him all of them. Cool. Now we wait for Postal Bear. Yeah, I don't care too much about, like, decorating. I just want things to be lined up nicely. Because I like how this is organized by, like, shortest to tallest. Oh, there's a new person here! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm- Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna have to move my whole orchard now. Fuck, good. I guess- oh shit. I liked having the orchard closed, that way I could easily put things in my storage. Well, I guess... I guess I can put my orchard here. Oh, this is actually huge. Oh, no. Okay, well... I'll move my orchard offline, because it's honestly really boring. <laughs> Because, like, it's it's a similar decorating system as to Cold of the Lamb, where it's kind of finicky when you place items. Okay, well, new friend, I'm sorry we can't see you. Oh, it's another garden one. <laughs> they look like a corn. They they legit look like a corn. <laughs> Lee Barry Dennings. I've seen the spirit fire and I've heard the rumors. And now here you are, alive and well, standing in my flower garden. Well then, Lee Barry Dennings is my name. Pleasure to meet you. Let's get down to it. Word is, you've got a natural talent for finding things. As it happens, this farm of mine is notorious for making stuff up and vanish. Lamps, books, flaps, or... Lamps, books, flags, toasters, hats, belts, receipts. Canned olives, canned ham, canned shampoo. Had them all and lost them all, darndest things. Long ago, an old ceramic carrot used to hang above our sink back when I was a kid. Little Lee, that was me, of course, used to wonder why Mom kept it there. But she did, and it was always there until it wasn't. Be a pal, would you? Bring that carrot to me if you see it. Okay, now I gotta find... Ceramic carrot. Okay, so it's in a pile of sticks. So now I guess we can move on to the daily missions, now that I've explained everything that I've done while I was gone. 
Allison Fisher. Hey there, Brad Eyes. You just missed one of my infamous promotional events. I gave away a bunch of samples of stone fruit muffins. I've got a problem, though. Hey, you. Hey. You're a bit of a problem solver, aren't you? Yeah, I, I've been known to solve a problem or two, you know. Well, let's make it three, then. See, I accidentally used the good toothpicks in those samples, the one with the lacquer finish. I'm not saying that the bakery's in financial trouble, but I can't exactly buy a whole new set of toothpicks and still make rent, you know? So, if a helpful scout would track down those used toothpicks and bring them back to me, well, it would mean the world. Why are you reusing toothpicks? That is so gross. Here, near a crow's nest. Patrice Furbach. Hey there. I've got another missed packing slip. Attention, Patrice Furbach. You'll get what you deserve. A weight pinned over your heart. Well, no wonder it wasn't delivered to me. They forgot my zip code. Looks like this is going to require a personal pickup, and I'm swamped with paperwork. Any chance you could help me out? Dude, this, this guy is trying to... Trying to get him. Okay, it said... Was nearby some delicious desserts. We're probably back here. Oh, we're here, we're here. Easy. Dude, I forgot how annoying the finding shit missions are. over your heart. I get it now. This is a bronze star medal. This may have been mine once, but if there's one thing I know, it's that I don't deserve it. Oh. But you're great, Postal Bear, even though you do seem to lose so many packages like every day. But you know, we all make mistakes. Nobody can be perfect. It's important to stop and appreciate the beautiful things in the world, Stamp Camp. For example, take this verse I memorized. <laughs> Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. You know what I mean? Aren't you just completely recharged now? Sure. I think he should have my tea egg by now. There it is. Also, every day you play the game, you get a letter and a decoration. So I'll, I'll read these off for you guys. I think these are in order. I don't remember. Cheerio, Scoutatastic. Good news. Your parents gave permission to extend your trip a bit longer. I took the liberty of letting them know you'll be late. You know, since I haven't heard from you, and I'm sure you don't want them to worry. Ha. <laughs> People can get so upset when their children don't come home. Ha ha ha. From Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. Still no word from the main chapter. Strange. You've received one produce stand. So it seems like I don't want to go home. I'm a lost soul. I've been teaching the rest of the troop all about ghost animals. Mostly you see wisp birds around these parts, but sometimes the ghost deer will show up. Did you know they attracted to positive energy? 
So keep those good deeds coming and you may be lucky enough to see one. From Scoutmaster Blank. P.S. I got a really weird message from the folks at the main chapter. Oh god. Not Cozy Grove. You got one snow bear. Um, little does he know that I have like six pet um, deer. But granted, I'm also not replying to his letters, so valid. Some bad news. Melissa, who said she'd be treasurer, is moving cross state. So Dew's collection got delayed, and then Mr. Allen, he's my cousin, was telling me how tourists have been driving up boat rental prices thereabouts. Don't give up hopes. Optimistically, we should be able to get there out maybe next spring. Anyway, I'm sure you are thriving. Ah, youth, such hearty vigor in times of trial. From Scoutmaster Blake. So, is he telling me I have to stay here until spring now? Could imagine? Your parents drop you off at summer camp and they're like, actually, you don't get to go back home until winter. Like, that'd be crazy. But a gray day in these parts had a moment of doubt. What if you never come back? Every time I lose a scout, it weighs on me. But then I remember the importance of persistence. The one trait shared by all successful people. Heck, just look at me. I've persisted through the loss of several scouts. You're a good egg. Studious, sympathetic, excellent camping skills. I know you can do this. Believing in you, Scoutmaster Blank. He probably thinks I'm dead. I just realized we didn't cover imps in your orientation, did we? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't think you'd be running into any malevolent creatures of despair and woe quite so soon. Why, I remember when I went to the National Jamboree back in 04. Angry imps stole half the camp's underwear. <laughs> Good times. They went away when the old Sue tossed the big horn to imp a turnip. Keep those spirits up, Scoutmaster Blank. P.S. I never got my underwear back. Brownie face. Cool, man. Cool, man. Okay. Guess what? I finally had a terse call with Miss Matt's daughter from the head office. She dug up a list of reports about Cozy Grove, and it isn't all bad. Sure, some folks died there, but listen to this. No reports of domestic possession or tentacle beasts. They're pretty great. Anyway, she has an old friend from her coven days who works in the Spirit Scout National Archives. She'll see if they can find anything else. Stay spooky. From Scoutmaster Blank. Hi Angie, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi hon. Why did they send me on this mission where people have, like, died? It's kind of like those teenage boot camps they have for troubled youth. And then people, like, come back dismembered. Or dead. Or abused. It's like, how... Why did I sign up for this? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm in a really good mood today. Also, the new Mario Kart DLC was pretty good. I'm still speaking regularly with your parents. They agree the waiver you signed means they can't sue. Hurrah! I told them I'm sure you are learning so much good times. Scoutmaster Blake. Did my parents? <laughs> they should still try to sue if I die, you know what I mean? I feel like that'd be a valid reason to sue. Some ugly storms have been brewing out at sea. No one is willing to make the crossing in Cozy Grove. Mr. Allen, he lives by the docks, said when lightning cracks, you can spot some huge, mournful beasts rising out of the ocean depths. I quote, The color of the moon, eyes of cold flame. But wow, that means you get a whole island all to yourself. You are so lucky. Stay warm, from Scoutmaster Blake. He's just doing everything in his power to keep this camp in operation. How much did we pay? to go on this ghost hunting camp. This sounds like all the bad things that come to light from the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. I know. You know, I always wanted to be in the Girl Scouts when I was younger, but looking back, I don't know if it would have been good for me. 
I would have been outdoorsy. And guys, I would not have become a streamer if that happened, right? Okay. When you get back, you should meet Mr. Allen. I was gonna have him do a workshop on fish people. He had a nasty run-in with a... He had a nasty... He had a nasty run-in a few years back. His stories are just insane. Well, maybe we can make an Elder God Merit Badge. Wouldn't that be fun? From Scoutmaster Blake. My brother was in Boy Scouts for a week. <laughs> I mean, at least you got out quick, you know? Dude, this is... Because you get a letter every day. Every day. He's like, are you alive? He's just like talking into the void, hoping that you didn't die in his camp program. It is kind of fun to read these all in one sitting, though. Like, it's just like a huge lore dump. The chickadees are fine from this morning. Also, I got another update from Mrs. Matt, Matt's daughter for you. Sounds like there was a fairy accident a few decades back. Some captain deep in his cups. Smashed right into the rocks. No survivors. Children lost. Ruled extreme negligence. I bet the beach there are some wonderful ghosts. <laughs> lucky, lucky you. From Scoutmaster Blake. All these letters are so, like, underlyingly sinister. It's... Weird. He should have told me this before I enrolled. At breakfast, Catherine, she's my snookums, you know, her as Mrs. Blake, was inquiring about you. Are you well fed? Are you warm? It was a great opportunity to tell her about the robust quality of scouting merchandise. Our wool hats keep up the cold. The thick weave allows for energetic wilderness shenanigans. She smiled and told me, One reason I love you is that you'll never give up hope. See that? When I told you earlier about persistence, I knew what I was talking about. From Scoutmaster Blake. She's like, I actually don't like that you as my husband are running this death camp for children. And he's like, nah, they got a thick wool hat. Apologies if my letters are tough sporadic. I'm prepping for the new scouting season and my garage is a mess. Usually we store gear in the scout hall, but ever since the endangerment decree, sneaking in has been a, a bit of a touch and go. From Scoutmaster Blake. He's like, I'm just stressing about all the other kids that will inevitably die. Have you ever seen a heartbroken imp? They usually come in pairs. If you throw a chocolate treat nearby, you lure one imp over to the other. I did something similar when wound Catherine. From Scoutmaster Blake. Yeah, so I know the mechanic of, like, throwing food at the imps. But I can't craft any of the chocolate hearts because they take so much material. <clears throat> Just between you and me, I don't think Mrs. Matt's daughter likes me. Last time we discussed your vacation in Cozy Grove, she was yelling in her Swedish accent something about a dead king and cursed ruins. Probably nothing to worry about. Send my regards to the local polar poltergeist from Scoutmaster Blake. Um, weird dude. Oh, food. I will get that later. Smile. Okay, I'm gonna drop things off in my storage and then we'll deliver the eggs to the pelican guy. A new cooking recipe. Vegan pot stickers. That sounds disgusting. I I get like vegetarian and vegan alternatives are very good, but they will never be the same. I feel like it's just marketed towards the vegans and vegetarians to make them buy shit. It's like you miss pizza? Well here's our vegan pizza. It will never be the same, but you're gonna pretend that it is just as good.
trying to eat less red meat like if i'm going out to eat and i want to get a burger i'll get a burger but if i'm like buying groceries i'm trying to buy less red meat like i've been making chicken the past few weeks for myself because I, I don't think i could ever go full vegan or vegetarian i do understand the impact that different types of meats have on like the environment and stuff and honestly, chicken is cheaper anyway. Okay, I have yet to find the things I'm looking for. It's near a crow's nest. Wait, crow's nest is a ship. tree behind something. I think there was a bear tree by the postal bear's little house. Oh, these muffins are going to be hard to find because they're already green. bear tree I've seen. There's probably more. Do you eat seafood? Yes. I would eat seafood over most anything. It's just my roommates don't want to eat fish every day, you know? Oh, it's gonna be hell finding all these little muffins. I got time. I want to complete this mission first for now. Ow! Ow! <laughs> That's made a significant improvement up to my state of affairs. Thanks to you, young sailor. A foolproof cure for an overzealous knight, that is. Sadly, there is no simple cure for my shame. How could I have made the same mistake in death as I did in life? I'll be pondering that one for quite a while. Yeah, because he had a headache. Probably from guilt. From his lived life. Consorting with the old sea dogs, you might hear some telltales from time to time. Treacherous sea monsters rending a bark or two like I was snapping a toothpick. That sort of thing. But don't pay no heed to listen well when I tell ye where the real monsters lie. The real monsters are on the ship. Uh oh. Monk and W. Oh my god, is that Rose in the chat? Hi, Han. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Rare Rose appearance, guys. Hello. Hope we're doing well today, Han. I have to find how many of these muffins? Oh my god. Okay, let's do another loop. I gotta find a carrot. And then, a oh, here's one muffin. Plus one.
Okay, whenever I search for the, uh, these items, I can't be dashing around because it's so much harder to see. I gotta actually pay attention. Okay, you, you guys gotta help me too. If you see any muffins laying around. Oh, see, look, all my trees bloomed. These weren't ready for harvest earlier. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm in a really good mood today. I had a really bad nightmare last night, though. <laughs> but it's weird, because, like, for the most part, I can kind of separate nightmares from... I guess when I wake up, I'm only usually like frazzled for a little bit. The nightmares that do really freak me out are the ones that are like very realistic. Like I had a nightmare, it was a while ago, of like somebody like banging on my door at like 3 a.m. Like the dream was me going downstairs and like looking at my door at 3 a.m. So when I woke up, I was like, oh my god. Like, it was so bad. Because I, I deadass thought, like, it was real. Okay, I ain't saying any gosh darn muffins. notice that whenever I do watch a horror movie I have like nightmares for two days but usually I can understand that oh you know I saw this recently that's probably why I'm dreaming about it it's whenever I have like the creepy dreams randomly like for no reason those ones bother me a bit more yeah I'm looking still no muffins Okay, I still think it's over here somewhere. Because they said it was behind something by a bear tree. And this is, I think, the only bear tree in the game. Oh, I see it, I see it! Okay, so this one is by an old dingy barrel behind something. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk to this guy. Valentina Oso Fisher. Hello there, constituent. Have I mentioned how I love your whole spirit scout look? It's so unvarnished, so true to you. But now that you're a resident of our town, have you ever considered taking out a few more fashion forward pieces? Orange. Yes, I could really see you in orange. Here's an orange winter scarf to start the outfit. Mr. Kit should have the rest. Can't wait to see it. Okay, I gotta buy a cardigan and then a cozy cat. Why is he giving me a full orange fit? I don't want to look like the guy from Despicable Me. That is not a look I want. Easy! Ceramic carrot achieved. Or retrieved. I, I have no clue how I'm going to find all these muffins. Since I've been playing so much more, I kind of know where everything is. I don't know where a barrel is. Oh, here. Classic. 
Okay, go exploring. Look by a boat. I see sand piles in your future. By a boat. Right here. Right here. Right now. Yeah, that's why, like, just in general, I know I'm kind of scared to try medications. Obviously, if my doctor says it's the best thing for me to do, then I will. But I think I could live with the nightmares for the most part. It's just like if it were like an every night thing, I don't know if I can handle it. But I think it's important if you are hesitant to try medication, there are always different options. And don't be upset if it doesn't work. Because depending on what you need it for, there will be a multitude of options. Easy! Ooh, that sounds creepy. That's like some actual horror movie shit. Oh, has anybody ever, like, clipped their nail off? Like, there was one time, it wasn't me, but my mom, like, rammed her foot into the door one time and her whole nail came off. Ooh, it was so bad. And it was, because she worked at a school, so she would, like, tell the kids about it. And they were like, oh, can I see it? Can I see it, Pishan's mom? And she would, like, take the bandit off and they would be like, oh. Like, little six-year-olds wanted to see it. <laughs> it was so funny. That's good. I'm glad you're able to switch to a medication that worked better. Wow, you found every toothpick. You really are a world-class spirit scout. It's weird, though. Some of these toothpicks still have muffins attached to them. Who takes a sample and throws them in the ground without eating it? Well, either way, thank you, Bright Eyes. I'm gonna give you these I'm gonna give these toothpicks a quick dishwasher rinse and get them back in rotation ASAP. Dude, why is she reusing toothpicks? That's so gross. You know what else is gross? Having to run ads, but you know what? I gotta do it because I'm a Twitch affiliate. Guys. We are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get out of free viewing all month long. Or, big or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Guys, if I get 50 subs, I will rent out the Barbie Mansion right now. <laughs> um, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Easy. Dude, that is such bullshit that they're only renting it out for two nights. That is... That is bull. If that were open all year round, they would be booked out all year. But, okay. Let's think about it. If it's like a... I assume... It's like... A museum house where they have like a bunch of trinkets and shit. I bet if it was rented out more often, people would be more likely to damage it. So I can kind of get it, but... Just make it an attraction at some point. Guys, if I ever become clouded, I will build my own Barbie mansion. And rent it out all year. I'll do it for the people. Watch someone like Kim K get the rental. But the photo shoot would be crazy though. You know what, it probably costs $60 a night and then like $100,000 to bribe them under the table. And you know what, I don't have that sub count yet. Yet! <laughs> okay, what I gotta do next? Oh, the- the- oh wait, look! You know how I said the ghost looks like a corn? Literally, look at them. They're colored yellow. They're literally a corn.
<laughs> hmm, I think that's the one. Hard to tell one vegetable from another, even when you're part vegetable yourself. Thanks, friend. I'll hang this over my kitchen sink where it belongs. If I can clear a path to the kitchen, that is. You see, my house has gotten a bit cluttered recently. What can I say? I like my stuff. You keep bringing it to me and I'll make it worth your while. Dude, they're a literal corn stalk. Oh no, they're a hoarder! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, my orchard is blocking most of it, but look, they're- oh, They have literal newspapers! Dude, cliche! This is like my grandma's house. My grandma? She- she's- She doesn't say she's a hoarder, but like, she's like, there. She's like, skirting the line. Like, she does keep newspapers. Oh, this is her house? Dude. Oh my god, I can't. I can't! My grandma hoarded in it even in her car, that's what my dad does. But you know what? Everything I have in my room... Wait, let me- let me do a quick scan. The only thing that I have that is not practical, like for art or drawing, is is just stuff from stream. So it still has purpose. I don't- I don't like keeping decorations. I don't like trinkets. Man, she has a lot of space. Holy. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to move my trees later. Can I even click on them? Oh, I can't. Okay. I- Cause see how these trees are grayed out? I was like, can I not pick them up? I'll do that later, though. Okay, next mission. Okay, gotta buy a cap and a cardigan. Oh, I gotta talk to this- I forgot about you, sorry! Charlotte Pond. Looks like this old scout manual has a thing or two to say about tool for the- They thought it said fornicate. <laughs> I was talking with my friend the other day and most chatters know I have a condition where my brain sticks out of my skull so it affects my cognitive ability sometimes so like I have I have difficulty reading and comprehending instruction now and <laughs> they were telling me because they have watched a few of my streams <laughs> And they've been like, dude, you can't even understand the simplest game instructions sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it looks like this old scout manual has a thing or two to say about tool... Fortification. Apparently you can strengthen more than just a shovel. Pickaxes can be fortified too. Let's make this into a ranger scout project, shall we? You bring me the ingredients listed in the book and I'll do the rest. Ooh, I have everything already! Nice! Now I can get a better pickaxe! Finally! Good job collecting those ingredients! Now all I have to do is burn them over my carefully managed campfire. The smoke should strengthen your pickaxe. All done! You have a pro pickaxe now. It can bust up tougher rocks and it won't crack as easily. Remember, Scout, take care of your tools. Yes, now I can break big rocks. Finally. It's so hard to not make adult jokes. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. I mean, difficult! It's difficult! Okay, another big reason why I, I try to avoid making too many 
some dudes slip through. I avoid trying making too many, like, more mature jokes is... If... Let, let's say we have a viewer who doesn't watch often, or if a new viewer comes in... And they, like, check the stream a few times before they follow. Imagine if every time they click on the stream, they just get, like, a... A, a genitalia joke or something. Or, like, a banging joke. And it's just, like... I don't want to be known for that, you know what I mean? And I think whenever any figure, any figure, like both male or female or in between, I feel like if you make too many innuendous jokes, I feel like it's kind of off-putting to like your female viewership. Because I know me as a, as like a woman viewer, I wouldn't feel as safe if I saw the personality. And then also a majority of the chat room making like very innuendous jokes. Like I wouldn't feel safe. I don't know if other girlies agree. You want to be wholesome? Yeah, for the most part. Like, I do think making explicit jokes is like the easy joke. Like that to me is like surface level. Um, and I know I do sometimes make them. Sometimes I do, but I don't want it to be my main commentary. Some streamers are good for that, for others no. I agree. I think it depends on, like, what you, like I said, what you want to be known for. Like, if somebody's kind of known to be a bit perverted, then that's whatever. That That's fine. Like, that's the brand they want to make. But I don't want my brand to become that. And I think especially, because, like, you, if you guys ever go on, like, LSF or watch any, like, top Twitch clip compilation videos, there are so many, like, innuendous jokes and it's just like those are the clips that pop off and I don't want any of those clips for me to pop off and I feel like if there ever comes a time where I do kind of become more lenient with certain types of jokes like I think the furthest we'll go is like like your mom jokes I feel like that is like at the line but it's a bit further from the line than like talking about smashing right um because I feel like if you, or me in this case, as the streamer lets one joke slide too many times, then it kind of drastically changes your chat environment. Like imagine if every day we had one viewer being like, like that's what she said. I feel like that, like the phrase, is that a block term? <laughs> I think it is. Uh, for me, like the, wait, that's, oh yeah, I literally made it a block term a year ago. Um, to, to me, the phrase, that's what she said, is the line for me. Because that is obviously alluding to intercourse, right? Even if it's, like, kind of funny, like, that that's what it means, right? And I feel like that is my line. Like, if any time any chatter, like, skirts that line, it'll be uh, taken care of. We'll take him out back. <laughs> I'm kidding. We'll, we'll just time them out. <laughs> um. But anyway. I don't want my chat room to ever change to that. Because I feel just in general, as like a female presenting person, you're bound to get more like harassment. And I feel like if you have a lot of viewers or chatters who are like vocally more perverted... I feel like then I would become complacent, and then also new viewers would be off-put. I don't know. It's something that I've like thought about deeply because I know- wait, what am I doing? Oh, I need to buy clothes. I know just in general, I, I can be seen as a pick-me sometimes. Like, the, the way I talk about things, I know I can be seen as like, that way. And it's just like, I don't want to ever cross that line, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's hard because, like, I feel like me talking about it indirectly, like, shits on other people who do have that commentary style. I'm not. I'm just talking about, like, my... Because this is my space streaming. You as the broadcaster, this is your space. And you can control it however you want to. But you still need to think about... 
what people think of it from an outside perspective and then also like the safety of your own viewership. That's why like that's a big reason why I enable 10 minute follower mode because if you guys most of my viewers right if you enjoy my stream you probably watch a few other smaller streamers I'm sure you've been in a stream and there'll be like a random new follower new account be like oh and they'll say something like explicit or innuendous and then the streamer's like oh, how can you say that but to me I would just avoid that interaction entirely because obviously I would handle it well I would just insta ban easy clap but I just don't want anybody to even feel that sense of unease or fear that it could happen, right? Because there's only been one time when somebody successfully um, avoided it. I'm not going to say how. Unless? No. All, all they did was um, use their channel points, but that's something I can easily disable. Because, for in my opinion, as long as something doesn't show on screen, because chat shows on screen, but channel point redemptions don't. But anyway, it's been a long time since somebody's ever come in and said anything weird. Like, it's been almost a year. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. A Valentina Oso Fisher. What a tasteful, refined fashion choice, Count. Nouveau? I don't know what that says. It's just so you, don't you think? Yes, this new highly personal style of yours is exactly what we needed in this town color scheme. Nothing sells self-expression like blending in perfectly. Hmm. Now, only if we had some new decorations around town to further accentuate the vibe. Decorating has practical benefits like making nearby animals happy, but the aesthetic benefits are priceless. I'll be sure to let you know if you wear or do anything that clashes well with everything else. Oh, I can buy stuff from him. Nice. See, these are all kind of ugly, though. <laughs> no one said anything weird? That's weird. Yeah. I mean, it's because, like... I know if, if people are regular viewers, because you know how when you go into a Twitch chat for the first time, like, the rules dialogue thing will pop up? I wish the dialogue box popped up, like, once a month for returning viewers. That way they could see like updated rules or just so they can understand the rules again <laughs> because another problem that happens with a lot of small streamers is that um viewers will get more comfortable over time and they'll either like try to hit on the streamer or like trauma dump which i've said my takes on trauma dumping in the past um but i do think uh, twitch staff if you're watching this um you should make it so the Twitch chat rules pop up once a month for returning viewers. That'd be great. Smile. And sometimes I accidentally click it off and don't get to read it. Yeah! Like, there's no way for the viewer to find those rules again unless it's in their about section or if it's a command. Wait, I think I have it as a chat thing. There it is. That's the thing that's in my chat rules. Yeah, but it's kind of wordy. Okay, I think I did all the missions that I can do today. Oh, where'd the bug go? The, the bug disappeared. Oh, I think it's back here. No, the bug literally went pee pee poop. You could just have it on a timer. I thought about doing that, but imagine how aggro <laughs> ha having like a timed message be like, this is the rules. I feel like it's a bit too much. Because I think the only chat timers I have now is, I think the follower reminder, um, sub rem oh, TTS reminder, and then, I can actually look them up. I, I can literally look at it now. I forgot. Let's see. Because I usually swap out which time messages show up, like, once a month. That way regular viewers don't see the same shit. Let's see. I have the follower alert enabled, I have sub alert enabled, and then our channel alert enabled, and then TTS enabled. So four time messages, that's not too crazy. I feel like time messages are more effective if, you, if you're a larger streamer. 
Because if you have a larger viewership, more people would see it, you know? But it's whatever. I think it's also good to have timed messages enabled. That way, a viewer who understands how stream elements work know that you know what you're doing. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, little dynamics that you don't necessarily understand unless you start broadcasting yourself. But I think if... What was kind of weird was... Before I started streaming, I kind of, like, understood most of the nuances that came to streaming. Because I consumed a lot of Twitch content in 2020. So when I started broadcasting in 21, I kind of... I understood most everything. Like, I understood to not overshare in some contexts. I understood to, like, be very mindful of how you conduct yourself. And also, like, the power of your platform, no matter how small. I'm just gonna put all this shit away. I'll organize it later. Oh, I can- okay, let's feed my little animals, finally. The only thing I don't like is whenever you get close to the animals, like, the little food bubble disappears. Oh my god, there's another thing I didn't show you guys yet! Okay, so I have all my little birds and deer outside, right? But! You may notice my tent looks very different. Let's get a peek inside. So I figured out where to put the cat charms. You can only have cats inside. Aren't they cute? I have so many. I'm a cat mom now. Because how the cat system works is in every tent, there's this little cat statue. And you can either lure a cat or use the essences from cats to craft other essences. You can make bird, deer, rodent. So to lure a cat, all you need to do is put three different types of food in the little statue every day. And then the next day, tomorrow, uh, a little cat charm will spawn. So I stopped luring cats personally because I have so many. I have, <laughs> I have two, four, six... I have nine- I have ten cats. Oh my god. So I- I have a lot of cats. And see how they all look kind of sad? It's because- You can see how it says likes fun decor, dislikes rustic decor, and cats? When you have too many cats next to each other, they don't like each other. So I just stopped making cats spawn. Also, I have multiple rooms in the house, but I have no, like, need for them. Because I don't like decorating too much in games. But anyway, so I have lots of cats now, so let, let's feed them. <laughs> yeah, so when you feed the cats, you get a hairball essence. And then you can exchange the hairballs and craft them to make other essences. I usually craft um, deer essences or imp because these ones are harder to get in game. But for the rodent ones, I don't necessarily need because you use the rodent essence for, like, more complex food recipes, but I don't need those yet, so. Yeah. So whenever I feed my animals, I usually just go through whatever items I have, and now that I see... One cat wants tacos, one wants a little jelly croissant. I can go bake them. Oh, I don't have... I don't have a lot of shit, so, um, the cats are gonna go hungry today. Oh, yes, because I need to make a fruit salad, a camp churro, a hard roll, and then a mole taco, which I don't have enough ingredients. Uh, but all the cats will die. In game. In game. Okay, so now I need this. I know I have. Oh, wait, the main thing! Okay. So, in order to make the base ingredients for a lot of the cooked items, you need cooked food. So, in order to get cooked food. Because I think I showed you guys how to burn bones. Like, you burn fish, and then you get bones. Mm. 
So what I usually do is any fruit or food item that I have multiple of, I will bring to my inventory and then split. That way I can keep at least one of each type of fruit and vegetable in my storage. That way, if I need it for a mission, then I have it. And then you do, I want to burn something. So, any nuts get, when you burn them, they turn into flour. Um, mushrooms turn into roasted mushrooms. Vegetables turn into roasted root vegetables. And then when you burn fruit, they turn into roasted fruit. I had to look up how to do the roasting mechanic. And then, now that I have all those cooked ingredients... Now I can make a few more items. Because you can't use raw mushrooms for the tofu, you need to have roasted mushrooms. So most of the recipes require cooked fruit and vegetables. But now, maybe... I still can't make anything for the cats. Okay, they're fine, they're fine, you know. They can go until tomorrow. I gotta feed my birds anyway. Yeah, so that's that's how the cooking mechanic works. There, Because, like, I didn't know I had to cook the vegetables first. Yeah, so, th guys, that is how you, um, be very good at Cozy Grove. You guys got a full walkthrough today. And I bet there's things I could do to make everything a bit more efficient but I'll get to it once I know a bit more about the game I think I need to buy more deer though I don't think six is enough because I always run out of deer essence okay so now I need to make um, pickles and then like a cream thing and then a purple salad it is nice how they show like a picture of the food because i feel like it's so much easier to recognize than like having the name of the item oh panna cotta I don't have the salad recipe yet. Yeah, see, look, for the bonbon that the imps want, it takes 20 flour. That's so much flour. That's why I just ignore them. It's like, you can keep- wait, let me find one of the imps. I think it was down here. It was sad. Dude, this fit the mayor gave me is atrocious. It's ugly. Take me back. It's fire? No, it's not. It's ugly. I don't look good in orange. Okay, where's the crying imp? He's gone. He, he I guess he's being sad somewhere in a corner. <laughs> anyway, I can't help him. So it's fine. It's whatever. He can keep crying. You know, time heals all wounds. I'm stun locked. Oh, look, there he is. Look, he's sad. He's sad. Oh. The only thing that'll heal my heart is chocolate, but I don't have. 
Okay, well, I've crafted all the food that I can. Some animals will go hungry. Oopsie, can't blame me. So yeah, um, normally what I would do is I would harvest all my flowers. I would harvest all my trees, which there are a lot to harvest today. You guys got a good day. And then I would roast all the vegetables, craft any food that I can craft, and then recycle any rose or any flower petals to make more lamps. Yeah, so like basically the daily rotation is do the story missions from the ghosts, um, harvest any resource you have, make those resources into more artisan crafted goods, so like the roasted vegetables, flower pigments, expand the island, bake goods, and then fish. So the dailies are actually pretty satisfying to do. <laughs> Like, I definitely think this game is a lot more interesting lore-wise than Animal Crossing. So I would say, if you're interested in buying the game, buy it. Hashtag not an ad. But I, I genuinely like this game a lot now that I actually know how to play it. So, yeah. I think we'll pause here for today. I'll harvest the flowers and trees offline and move the trees around offline too. Because I probably will play this later. Um... I don't know if I'll play this game every day on stream. I'll think about it. I do know we'll play it whenever we play Mario Kart, so after Mario Kart. And we'll, we'll go from there. Because I know I still want to shoot for the 3-4 to four hour stream time, but I don't want to stream a game just to get more stream hours. So, like, I'll, if I'm in the mood to play it on stream, then we'll play it on stream. But yeah, so let's, let's do a little save. Very nice. Okay, everybody, I think we can wrap it up here for today. But don't worry, the stream is not over yet because we did get a few resubs, so we do get to do our calligraphy journal. So if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, you will get your name written. While I get that camera set up, if everybody could peep the pinned message in chat, guys, I will be on the Emmy Beefs podcast this Sunday at 5 p.m. PST. So six hours from my normal stream time so go follow her twitch channel right now that way you can watch live and type in chat on sunday and if you don't like twitch um go sub to my youtube new main channel video out tomorrow thank you for redeeming mac okay, let's get some um real music on Dude, the- I think the DLC was fine. I do think Wave 4 is peak. It's literally peak. Also, everybody. Um, what is this? Is this piece in art.myshopify.com? Guys, exclamation shop in chat. Use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your original painting today. Exclusive coupon code for my viewers. Go bookmark the website right now. If I get a million bookmarks today, I'll do very something. I'll do something special. God, I hate. I hate my stutter. Anyway, let's get some music on. There we go. Okay, so we had Rainy, Kim, and Hacker.
Today was fun, though. I also realize it's been a long-ass time since I played Mario Kart. And now... I legit feel like... The reason why I was playing so bad is because of my silly little Joy-Cons. Like, I genuinely feel... That was affecting my gameplay. So now I have no excuse. Now I'm actually gonna try hard. A gentle reminder, if you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Any redeemers? I was sad because when I was buying my Joy-Cons, they only had the red and blue ones. I couldn't buy the pastel one single. You can only buy the set. Nobody tell Brady, nobody snitch, nobody snitch. I smudged the paper. Nobody snitch. No, it, it's fine. The the letters will cover it. It's fine. Nobody freak out. Nobody freak out. See, look, 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 look. The M covered it perfectly. You can't even see it. Look. Don't worry. <laughs> oh no, smudge, no snitching! Snitches get banned. <laughs> Imagine somebody actually clips and sends it to Ari. <laughs> it was just so cute because back when I um when it was very small and like Rainy and Katie were my only viewers, <laughs> Rainy would clip anytime I mentioned her or like interacted with her chat messages and it was really cute. <laughs> it was so funny. You would be like, "Peace and said what?" Or I think one clip was like, Peasons farming drama with rainy day games? It was so funny. Because I would look back at the clips made after a stream and I would see that she made some. <laughs> yeah, it was cute. Yeah, so guys, if you clip the stream, you'll get my attention. And that's what you guys want, right? Also, I added new music to my stream playlist. This is a new comp. This compilation is called Calm and Relaxing Mario Kart Music. Dude, I really wish Kim changes her name again. It's so cringe. Putting the UW at the end, cringe. I hope she hears this later. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming, Kobobo. Because, like, seriously, how was any viewer, anybody, in person, gonna take you seriously if you have an UW in your name. Cringe. 
I should stop talking shit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hacker, for the 14th month resub. Thank you, Rainy, for the 13 month resub. And then Kim for the six month resub. Holy moly, new badge. Only three more months until a sunflower badge. Oh, I need to change my 16 month sub badges. I'll I can buy new badges in August. I think I'm just gonna get different flowers. Because all the sub badges I have for now are sunflowers. So I think for these 16 month and then two year subs, they'll get like a whole different flower. I think the only viewers who would be eligible for a 16 month is. Let's see. It would be Emmy and then Issa, because they're at 17 months. Holy shit, that's crazy. But new higher tier badges coming soon. Probably August. Maybe late July. Once again, thank you, Hacker, for the 14 month reset, Rainy for the 13 months, and then Kim for the 6 months. Thank you. We appreciate the tier 1 subs and primers. Also, I'd like to say, if you can't afford to subscribe, that's okay. I'm a brokey too. As long as you watch and you have fun, that is my main goal. Okay, now we're going for the brokey journal. We hate the brokeys. We must keep them separate and segregated. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, I remember I only used to do calligraphy for the people who did subscribe, and then I was like, you know what? I might as well do channel points too. I don't want them to feel too left out. Because you know what? I am for equal opportunity. I'm an equal opportunity employer. Thank you for your gaming, Mac. Okay, we have two more names left. If you want to reach a name, all you need to do is use your channel points. Okay, last name, last call. Your choice? Thank you for redeeming, Angie. I think I'm gonna do turquoise. Because I feel like turquoise and pink go cute together. Wait, that's Barbie and Ken! Holy shit! You stole like crazy? Shut up! Shut up, Mac. You should be loving it, because you've been missing out on so many channel points recently, huh? How many, how many times you wrote my name? Um... Maybe five. I mean, I keep all the... Because all these pages are from... All the previous times, because this journal is dedicated to channel points. But I'm not counting it. My guess is five, because I know Angie, like, it's not often you chat, and that's totally fine if you lurk. We love lurkers, but it's not often we see you hang out around to the end of the stream. And it's not, it's not bad. 
Because, like, the way I see the calligraphy part of stream, it's like a, you know, a nice, calm, chill-down part. And I think it's also important to acknowledge, like, especially when you're small, give a bit more attention to the people who do choose to financially support. Because at this point in my life, literally every dollar matters. So I want to make sure I congratu congratulate. Or, no, thank is a better word. Thank the people who do support. And like I said earlier, another reason why I do channel points for calligraphy too is so that way other people don't feel left out. <clears throat> there we go, we had Angie. Last call. Oh wait, somebody else redeemed. It was Angie. Lamau. Okay. Last call, everybody. Who wants to keep stalling? You don't got anything left to stall with? Good. Keep it that way. Okay, everybody. Let's wrap it up here for today. I would like to thank everybody for watching any Chatters Lurkers. Thank you for hanging out during this rare Mario Kart stream. Now that I have my Joy-Cons in the trash. Just kidding. Throwing away batteries is... Is it illegal to throw out batteries? I know you can't because it's like toxic if they burn it. Don't throw out batteries, kiddos. <laughs> okay. Um, before I go, everybody, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. I have my main channel where YouTube highlight videos of streams and, like, full playthroughs will be uploaded soon. New main channel video out tomorrow at 11. So subscribe to the main channel. Also, daily YouTube shorts and clips on the clips channel. So subscribe to both. Yeah, I know they have, like, special, like, drop-off boxes to recycle batteries. I know they have some at, like, my local libraries. Okay, so make sure you guys sub to the YouTube. I will be live again tomorrow with our weekly subscriber-only stream. It'll probably be at 11 a.m. Because I have shit to do it in the evening. So, I think... I think s since people are getting used to the idea of doing playing with viewers every Friday, I think we'll start that next week. And we'll do Cult of the Lamb tomorrow because Cult of the Lamb, I have the Spider World and I assume there's going to be a boss fight. So I want to see how much I can get through tomorrow. So let's go. So from next week on, dream schedule is normal three streams a week. Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and then random game. And then Friday's guaranteed I will not skip out on the Friday sub-only streams, okay? I will not... My fingers are not crossed. I will not skip out on weekly sub-onlys. I gotta keep my word on that. Because, you know, people pay five bucks. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you're a non-sub, don't worry about it. You can always catch the normal streams. And I always upload the past sub-only streams on the YouTube VOD channel. So if you miss out on a stream, but you still want to catch up on lore, watch it on the VOD channel a few weeks after. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow and non-subs later. Okay, bye, bye, bye Oh, I didn't change the color. Shit, I'm a bad streamer. There you go. It's blue. It's blue. Bye. I wonder what track this is from. I know what it is. It's on the tip of my tongue. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look at what the comments say. Toad's Turnpike? Oh, okay. That makes sense. For some reason, I was thinking of... Oh, yeah, because that's like the music that plays when you're on like, the speed boost part. These Mario Kart, like, sound songs sound mixed, though. They sound, like, calmer. I wonder if they are edited. Let's see. No, they aren't. They aren't edited. They're just the raw music. Huh. Weird. 
Okay, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a Subway stream. Oh, wait, if you're non-sub, you can just watch the podcast I'm doing with Emmy on Sunday. So go follow her Twitch at Emmy Beef or twitch.tv slash Emmy Beef. It is pinned in the chat. Okay, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Cult of the Lamb. We're gonna beat the game. Copium. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. I had fun today. I had a lot of fun. I'm in a really fucking good mood for once. I love depression. Okay, bye. <laughs>